Plat chat, Overwatch episode 222. <laughs> oh boy. It's been, it's oh been god, oh god, world. okay. Don't, two, no, two, one two. No, one, no one start. Two, two, two. No one start. Oh my god. <clears throat> six versus six. No, I'm kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> how's it going, guys? Uh, we, we've, had, we've had a pretty interesting week in the, uh, in the award scene. A lot of Twitter drama. Uh, or not a lot of Twitter drama, but, uh, you know, people have been at it tweeting uh, sort of profanities back and forth. <laughs> Avril's showing off uh, Disgusting. a nice little uh, screenshot there. Where, You're not uh, swearing my Overwatch, bro. You guys can't curse the oh, first I, I five cut minutes off the, of the name. Show. I cut off the name. Hold up. I got it. If I move it a little bit, can you see the name? Look, if you look at the name. My... Jack. Yeah, look. <laughs> that you, wasn't you, me. Okay. You, Jack. That was you, not look. me. Who's this guy? Who's no, that? No, no, right here, Jack. No, no, no. That Who's wasn't that? me, bro. I'm a nice guy. I'm Jones, nice did you yell at some mercy man again? What's going on, man? I just teabag him. They can't get me for the voice uh, flaming that shit. Yeah, <laughs> dude, dude, how long until they start banning people for teabagging? I'll quit the game. If they start banning people for teabagging, I will quit the game. That, that would actually be... That would be something different. That would be wild. <laughs> You'd have to, they'd have to specifically list the action and then give a demonstration in their TNCs to exactly it, what teabagging is. It'd be is. so hard to make against the rules. It's so yeah. complicated. Maybe they'll put in like yeah, the delayed oh, crouch. crouch. I forget what game that is. You can't crouch. You can't spam crouch yeah, forever. Crouch an infinite number of times. Yeah. This one makes CSS or something. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, that, that stops you from teabagging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, they they unbind your crouch button. You can't crouch in the game anymore. So people start shooting bodies once they yeah, die. Yeah, I was about to say you they can't the do bodies. that either. You They're like, okay, thing. and now and now they make it in the game. They do do all this weird work around stuff where you can shoot everything else, but as soon as your crosshair goes near a body, it just stops shooting. You know, it's you just how, where does this end? How does it end? Fight. <laughs> yeah, it becomes like, like the Counter Strike um, Counter Strike thing where instead of like blood and people dying, they like give up and they like fall to their knees and like oh, lay down. Oh, the PUBG thing. Oh, that's the PUBG thing yeah, too? Yeah, it's the PUBG thing, yeah. Because I, I believe in China, PUBG, you don't die. Like, there's no blood. You just give up. The blood's green. Know, the blood's green. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's like, the, well, the it's blood's like they're green. pretending yeah, to play right. paintball or something. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do that. You, we're going to play, you guys know, um, you guys know about like Super Noah's Ark 3D? So like they made what? Like, this very <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 of course. Of course hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm 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 cooking right now. I'm cooking right now. It's actually two on Steam, two? by the way. Save 65% off on Super 3D Noah's Ark on Steam. Anyway, they made like this very biblical, like super G-rated version of I was gonna say Doom, but it's actually based on Wolfenstein 3D. Because everyone knows Wolfenstein 3D is just like, you know, it's this, it's it's just World War II game. You're trying to break out of like this Nazi prison, right? And you're like, it's a very violent game. It was a very violent game back in the day in the 90s. So I don't know who decided. They made a very puritanical version of it where you're Noah on Noah's Ark. And instead of shooting Nazis, you're, you're so like, you. you're like flinging uh, food you're at animals on your, on your Ark. Uh... So you're, you're, you're shooting food at animals on your Ark to put them to bed because they're like rowdy animals that are very hungry. And so to placate these animals and, and have them fed, you know, you hit them with the watermelons and stuff, and they go to bed and they're this just like the ZZZs gaming. come out. Anyway, the That's point awesome. of this is this is the future of Overwatch, where Overwatch becomes such a puritanical game where you can't do anything. There's no blood. You can't kill anybody. You can't shoot a body. You can't teabag. You can't do anything that could be mildly offensive. Can't type in the chat. Can't, no voice chat either. So sad. That's the direction we're going in. We're now just going to be in a position where we become Super 3D Noah's Ark Overwatch Edition. <laughs> Needless That's to say... Future. I think we have more to say on this topic, but before we get into that topic and more, uh, I'm, I really appreciate that you 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 gave us that explanation, uh, Avril, and told us about Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm. But you really did mess up my transition from teabagging to Manscaped. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know. Was it worth it? I don't know. But I yeah, that's right. Now. Yeah, that's right. We got boxes. That's right. Manscaped. That hooked us up. Show show it off, Jaws. Is that a used version or no? No, I just took it out of the box. Okay, all right, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Oh, ASMR, ASMR, that. hold it near the mic. Ooh. No way, get it, get it out, stop this. No, there's no way. He's there's shaving no his way. microphone, guys. He's shaving his microphone. That's I haven't hilarious. used it yet, but wait. I do need to shave. There you go. It works, it's got the light. Yeah, I yeah. saw everything because I had the light. 
Now do the other part. Anyway, no, okay. <laughs> call them what you want. <laughs> knee knockers, golden knockers, thigh slappers, etc. But our friends at Manscaped refer to them as the boys. Not every man has children, but every man is responsible for two boys below the waist. So when your little guys have more hair than they need, trust Manscaped for all your grooming dreams. Boys needs love too, so join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com and use code PLATCHAT for 20% off plus free shipping. You heard it here first. The boys are back in town. Every man knows how scary it is. It can get when going for a close shave below the waist. That's why I trust Manscaped for all my sensitive areas. Introducing the Lawnmower family, including Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, the 4.0 Pro, and the 5.0 Ultra. Yep, three ball trimmers. Isn't it awesome? Boys need love too, and for this reason, each trimmer is equipped with skin-safe technology and, like Joel said, an LED spotlight and unique features for different grooming needs. The skin safe <laughs> disclaimer is required anytime it is mentioned. Wait, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> oh, these babies are waterproof too. Don't say more. For the amazing team, go with the 3.0 and work your way again. to the 4, 5, 4.0 plus 5.0 for the ultimate grooming experience. Taking it on the go, Manscaped has you covered. These streamers come with a travel case and even a travel lock feature to avoid any accidental powering and or weird looks in the iPod. This right here is on the cutting edge of the cu cutting pubes. Upgrade your ball trimmer and your life will follow. Wow. I'm I, 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 so many episodes in and I still got it wrong. I'm sorry, Manscaped. Use code PLATCHAT for 20% off, plus free shipping. Yeah. yeah you know, they don't understand. They, they don't like. understand. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. They love it. Little family there. You go. Anyway, I appreciate you, Manscaped. Thank you for the support, as always. Making sure PLATCHAT happens. Anyway, let's dive into it. Okay, Solomon is really, really liking the website. You know, that doesn't hurt, Solomon. It doesn't hurt to pull website. it up once in a while. One more rocket. You know, one more rocket. One more rocket. You know, throughout the episode, just pull up is. the website. Just show it off, you know. Randomly, we'll be talking about something. Just pull up the Manscaped website. Why not? Use code PLATCHAT. 20% off, plus free shipping. Anyway, all right. So, for today's episode, we're going to rank the Mythic skins. But yeah. I figured, you know, before we get to the Mythic skins, do you just quickly want to do the chat about the profanity stuff, since we're kind of on the yes. topic? Um, Absolutely. It's, might be a, uh, the topic might be too profane. As an expert on profanity, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you had a tweet even. You had a yeah, tweet yeah. Even, Jake. I just think uh, I think the biggest thing here is just that um, there's a huge difference between toxicity and profanity, right? Like I'm totally down with like you know if you're using profanity to be toxic, that that can be bannable. That you know if you're like specifically being negative about other players or or what they're doing, using profanity that can like elevate toxicity and make it worse. But just like using an exclamation of using a curse word like, oh, shit, I died, you know, like that is technically against the rules. I just feel that's sort of ridiculous. Like, I think from what I've seen and my understanding is that basically you're not going to get auto banned for this. You're just when you get mass reported or reported enough, they check your chat log. And if you use the curse word, you'll remain banned. And I just think it's a little silly because I, these people aren't being reported for the profanity. Yeah. I would say like 99 times out of 100 or 90 times out of 100. It's not it's not because the profanity you're reported. You're reported because people are like mad you're playing the wrong hero or you played bad. And, you know, people just use reports for a lot of reasons. But in my mind, there's a huge difference in just like using profanity and being toxic with it. And I feel like it's a big mistake for for Blizzard to be banning people or, or like restricting them. Because, and especially it's having real impacts on people's lives. Uh, professional competitive players who aren't able to compete because they get an in-game ban. It's to the point where you should just like register a smurf to actually play your matches on so that you're not getting like randomly suspended. Or you make an account that you literally don't use except playing matches is probably the a good idea, genuinely. Um, yep. And it's just it's a weird place for the game to be. I feel like there's like a policy issue here that the enforcement has gone this direction. Just, just doesn't seem right. I get that it's the letter of the law. Like you can write the terms and conditions to say whatever you want them to say. Um, and there's no free speech when it's a it's a private corporation on their platform, but I just think it's silly. They should change the policy. You, you know, it's even it's even sillier uh, when you consider that you talked about like why people might be reporting. Now that this is like a widespread thing and this is like big news in the Overwatch scene, I'm sure like everyone knows about this now, or a lot of people do know about this. Um, people will now be reporting specifically to. I would say maybe troll other players like oh he said it he said a word that could get him banned let's let's report this guy now and just be funny if he got banned right like that's now a legitimate reason that people might report each other for so um yeah we're gonna we're, we're literally entering a puritanical stage of overwatch where that's what it is now where no one i don't think anyone's actually truly offended like no one's no, you say shit in the game i don't think anyone's actually like oh my god i'm so offended but now it's become like a, a quote-unquote bad thing to do because you might get banned 
And if you if you particularly want to troll somebody, you can just report them and they might actually get banned. And that well, you also lose a nuance, people. right? Just because you say shit or fuck doesn't necessarily always mean that you're like targeting I someone, I think that's right? pretty important to bring up because I don't, there's a lot of nuance using the words, but also there's probably more to this situation that's what appears to be on the screen. Like, I was talking about it on my stream the other day, and I think enforcing this rule is kind of dumb. It is. If you're just using it like, oh, fuck, I died. Or like, you know, yeah, maybe like, fuck you is like, you know, that's bad, but like, you can just mute the chat. Like, it's it's a bit of a strange one. But I think it's the not even that easy bad, way, right? I mean, uh, yeah, the easiest way for Blizzard to kind of like make this a bit more clear and out in the open, release the fucking logs of why the person was banned. Like, actually just release the logs and it's probably it's probably something dumb like it's against gdpr or like some shit like that or, or like, just email it general... to, the, to the client themselves right they general can release it if they want to sure exactly yeah like general uh debt protection act might be against that but like it's said in a public like not forum as in like a web forum but like a public forum like it's said in a game where people can see it and that match may have been broadcasted by a streamer or like whoever so like at some point, you just have to give them the logs to why they were banned. And like, I know League of Legends does this. When you get banned in League, like for verbal or like you get muted or whatever, in the game, it will show you when you log in, like, oh, here's the chat logs, by the way. Oh, you said really bad words. So this is why you are banned. Like, you need a situation where either Blizzard CS, and again, they probably won't do this because there's probably some dumb fucking rule that says you can't share the data of the player that said the words in a game because it might not be public or some shit like that but like they just need to slap a fucking screenshot on the screen or like something that says oh this is the exact context of like what was said etc in this uh, in the chat log in the game this is why they were banned and then it's up to everybody else to be like okay that was a fucking dumb ban or oh maybe actually that was deserved i don't know if they actually were meaning it in a really horrible way or just like being toxic or whatever i don't know the player personally but like th there's normally more to this yeah, and also I've never been banned, but like, of it. does it go straight to ban? Does it not like mute you first? Yeah, and that's another thing, the, right? Like, there has might this have player been, been punished before, the... or did they straight exactly. just get banned, like randomly? Exactly. There's probably been warnings on the account. At least you hope so. I fucking hope there was warnings yeah. on the account before, and too. like, oh, you're suspended for, you're muted in game. You're suspended for a week. You're suspended, and then and then you know it kind of escalates to a ban. I fucking hope that happened because if you're just like oh they said fuck or shit or whatever like in a game like just oh the other enemy genji oh you're shit at the game like if they're getting banned for that kind of stuff like holy shit dude like that yeah i mean very messed I think up it's actually a really good point that we need more context but also even if if it were just mutes i think no one would care if it's like yeah you got muted okay like yeah yeah, yeah. you're, you're yeah, fine cry about yeah, it that's you know fine. but but for this player is like a collegiate player and now he's like gonna lose a scholarship from this you know so it's like there's really huge real world consequences from this. And you could say, I mean, and, and so the real, the, the outcome of this, like, okay, if this is the reality, it just means it's like more of a chilling effect on the game. It's like, you just, just play rank only on Smurfs. Um, you should only, you just don't talk if you're ever on your main, like don't talk at all. It's like too risky. Or, you know, it's like, cause you could say, oh, just sanitize your language and don't use any curse words. But that's like harder to do than people realize, I think, to have like perfectly yes, sanitized is. language that can't be taken offense to. And so I, I really feel that they have to like, like having more transparency or, or not escalate. If it is enforced, enforce it as a mute rather than as a ban. It's, you know, there's a lot of ways they could address this, but I do feel like it's, it's weird to see the only public response from Blizzard is these people on the CS account who, yeah. I mean, they just sound so smug, like using somebody's <laughs> first name in a tweet reply, you just look like a pedantic asshole, honestly. Yeah. Like it's a reply. We know who you're talking to. When you use people's first name, it's like you, you like the, it's literally the first section. It's like in the I feel like I, I mean, I mean, so like come on, even in the even the 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 Blizzard person can't sanitize their own language, and then they're responding to these people tweeting, you know, I, just to say like they're probably read here to learn our policy. That's what they should be saying, you know. And so it just <laughs> speaks to how easy it is to mess up with your language. I, I want to say, like, to be fair, they're probably under so much fucking harassment from this one tweet. They're probably pissed off and they like they they're overstepping maybe their boundaries in terms of like trying to be a customer support rep and being like, yeah, fucking I'm getting so, uh, slammed on Twitter and shit. Like, OK, like, bro, it's fucking in the thing. Like, it's in the teams, uh, TNCs. Like, you got just got to fucking read. Like, I kind of get why they're like that. Should they be like that? Probably not. But then at the same time, 
the result of this is, yeah, maybe this player has lost scholarship. Maybe they, you know, they can't play in collegiate. They're receiving a ban, which means they can't play in official tournaments. Like, that is a ridiculous, like, normally it wouldn't matter, re realistically, to the everyday player, like, oh, you're banned for, like, a week or whatever. It's not really going to matter. But, like, this is a special exception where, like, this is actually going to affect this person's, like, life that they can't participate in one of these tournaments because they play in collegiate. Just release the fucking logs. And then also, probably just best resolve this uh, with this player in like DMs or something because this is a little extreme. And like I said, I hope there's been, I don't hope the player's been toxic before, but like surely they've received mutes before because this is such an extreme case of like, we're going to ban you because you said a bad word. Fuck you. Like, I, I think it's totally unnecessary for like, for everyone to just sanitize their language. Like, I don't even think it was that offensive. Like, I think current culture is everyone's basically just decided it's like it's not that offensive that's why it's so ridiculous i mean based on the response from everybody to this it's it's clear that like 99 percent of people don't find anything like this no one says no one finds shit or fuck really that offensive unless it's specifically directed towards you with very specific intention and maybe some other words attached to it it's not even i don't even I, maybe it's just me but like even if it was directed at me it's not even that offensive it's like so mild it's it just seems like a crazy step backwards as I said, in like a real irritanical way, like we're some G-rated game now. Like I don't, is, is Overwatch not a teen game? Like what's the age rating for this game? Like, you know, is this like, is this literally like a five-year-old child game? Does Brick say fucking Swedish in the game like, on one of her voice lines? Come on, a lot of, There's a lot of curse word Come voice on, lines. And like, it's just like, what, like we don't need to, we don't need to, we don't, <laughs> that, we don't okay. need to be here. This was a good tweet. It just, this was a good tweet. It just makes, it just makes our game like the butt of a joke again. Like it, it, this becomes like, gaming news and everyone everyone gets the point and laugh at overwatch one more time how yeah. ridiculous is this is yeah. like you i know, think this, that's is, the this is like a, this is like an in-game this is like an oh. in-game version of the whole pepe thing and the okay hand side signal in, yes. in the overwatch league where like right. oh pr it's who somebody got fined for for putting a pepe on their twitter and they did like it's just it's <laughs> just so silly you know and oh it's just my like, god and then the and then the Blizzard CS person popping off on Twitter is just like what what an unprofessional way yeah. to like handle your job. It's like okay, may, may, if you are getting harassed on Twitter, that's not very nice. You could also just like log off and not respond to that and just like you know kind chill for a sec. Though, yeah, it's just like it's like, like fuck, they, I don't blame them for makes not worse. sanitizing their language, but how can we blame anybody else for for not sanitizing their language if if you know like even the professional can't do it or like like because I don't blame them. I would be annoyed too. And yeah. sometimes you can express your frustration at other people and you're not necessarily being toxic. And so I, I think, I don't know, it just seems ridiculous. I, 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 I can't believe this is the only communication we've gotten from Blizzard about it. And especially there's been no elevation of this for a player who's like in collegiate to at least be like, send them the logs. And if it's like, we send him the logs, he doesn't want, maybe it's a legal thing, you know, you can't release them publicly. That, well, so, that's the which thing. It would be yeah. weird, honestly, to release logs publicly. It might be against GDPR. But, but or give I, it I to the, the player I themselves. A, a Surely that's not yeah. a theory, right? My theory is that the more you define the rules and the more you like actually had hard set and concrete boundaries, the more people can sort of skirt the rules exactly. Yes. Like we're going to toe the line. We're going to toe the line sure, super close. So you said we can't say this is exact word or that exact word. What if I say like this? What if I do it this exact way? Well, then you can't ban me because your ruling said this. And so people will yeah. be like very specifically skirting. So that's probably one of the reasons why they're being vague about it. Well, also, uh, oh, I don't know what you're showing here, someone. Uh, it's the actual like ticket. Oh, this is their actual ticket thing. Oh. Yes. Oh, this is the okay. What well, this is the automated response. Yes, it this seems is the like automated GM response. Yes, because yeah. they. If I correct me if I'm wrong as well, didn't they let go a lot of their GMs like last year? Like a. I do not know that. Of GMs. I I thought it was QA. No. Uh, I thought it Might was GMs both, as well. Know. Like, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Obviously, the mass layoffs. Uh, yeah, probably hit Q, uh, yeah, GMs that's true. Well. for sure. But yeah, I think it's worth saying too that even if it it's it, there was one tweet where they were like, "Oh, this has always been in the code of conduct. This has always happened." Um, as well. For a lot of things, when it comes to companies like that, they actually do put a lot of stuff in there. You know, even like copyright, for example. Um, but specifically, I know for copyright, you actually need to take action to like to kind of like defend the copyright right. And so I think maybe there could be a similar thing here with code of conduct that like you actually put like the maximum uh, maximum amount of like protection in the code of conduct. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to take action on it all the time. 
um it's more of like a thing that like, if something were to happen you could point to it to the code of conduct i think it's i it seems like there's been an increase in bans regarding to saying fuck and shit and so that's kind of like i think where everyone is a bit caught in surprise where like you know yes it might have been in the code of conduct but recently it does seem like more and more people have been getting punished for using profanities and i think that's where the disconnect is happening we're like whoa where, where are all these bans coming from um because it, 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 it's not this case alone there does seem to be a lot of kind of like adjacent cases where this is happening and then also they were like well streamers will also get punished um doesn't matter like who you are um but i you know there's there, there's been a lack of communication i feel like and you know twitter as it, as it is usually it's a it's a pretty good platform for starting you know these kind of like uh you know uh kind of like what's it called almost, you know like chaotic People situations just, like ganging up on fucking quote retweeting replying shit. oh you guys are stupid and, just you know, release the just... logs they would solve literally everything uh... and like oh here's the ban history of this player by the way or like here's whatever you know it's so stupid you know what's really fucked up as well actually oh there you go mass layups and stuff game masters yeah hella game masters too. Go. Almost, yeah they i fucking knew it yeah almost all of the game masters which is like a lot of people that we knew that obviously have also been laid off, but like a lot of people in esports had started as GMs, started as game masters and like Q, um, and like um, uh, or like QA and shit like that. So um, yeah, it's kind of sad that a lot of them got laid off. But this kind of leads into this, where it's just like, well, there's not actually a lot of real people now dealing with these tickets. Like I don't know back in the day, obviously WoW was a big thing for like GMs. You'd always speak to like a real person in game, which was quite cool. Um, yeah, it's it's a really messed up situation. I think. Releasing the logs would fucking help uh, for a start. They're obviously going to have ambiguous rules in the TNCs because that that way they can enforce it almost the way they want to. And it's kind of better that way in some senses, but obviously worse in some senses like we're seeing here. It's, um yeah, it's a situation that needs to be resolved because this guy is fighting life and limb right now. And it's also another fucking weak Another week, bro. <laughs> oh, list of cuss words for Overwatch. PJ approved. Mother trucker. Fudge. Frick. Fork. <laughs> Huff my shorts. <laughs> Shit. Wait, that one goes crazy. <laughs> um, Fart knocker. <laughs> well, what is happening uh, here? It's another fucking week where people just oh, uh, fucking, they did something fucked up again, like Blizzard, Overwatch, or whatever. Like, it's another week and another fucking 17 videos being made of why Overwatch 2 is fucking stupid and a joke. Like, come on. Is, can we just we get one week. week of being fine? Like, please. We can't go a week without catching an L. We had such a good start to this, oh, come uh, on, this guys. season two with Venture and whatnot. Like, the season's really cool. Like, there's a new mode and everything else, but this fucking... Oh, come, come on. Now it's people are making videos now. about Come us. on now. Come on. I mean, I think what? it's like, a big L from the perspective for the for the competitive players whose real lives are being affected. Yeah, oh, and sure. like, I would agree yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that bad to mute an account and be like, yeah, whatever, you're just muted. Just mute but when you hand out a ban and you say make a, make a player not compete, you would think like the punishment should fit the crime, right? And so I understand if you said something really egregious or was like slurring people or whatever, yeah, or something or like really going off on somebody toxic, even if they're not using a slur, right? If you were like railing on on somebody just over and over you know 10 chat messages of flame yeah in a row. it's like okay. they're real assholes so they deserve to get banned out there exactly exactly <laughs> some people do deserve to get banned but we just don't we don't have any way of knowing and this and the way those the replies like that the saying f the f word and the sh word are what got him <laughs> yeah, banned that's are like crazy. that is absurd like that that's really the only yeah. clear communication we've had is that this is something that's not allowed is saying the f word or the sh word and it's like <laughs> Dude, I say that stuff all the time. Ban me. Like, I mean, really, <laughs> like, super it's, so, it's, it's <laughs> so ridiculous that if that if that is truly the bannable offense, that's like a third of the player base is going to get banned tomorrow, you know, or, or ought to be. And so it's really strange to have the enforcement be different for different people. That just doesn't seem right. You know, I think that's like a, there's a basic principle of fairness at stake here. So I think as much as it's not no it doesn't affect everybody i think it's like it's just it, it should kind of make everybody a little worried i think um unless you're 10 years old and you don't know curse words then you're probably chill but yeah bro if they're online they know them what do you say yeah that's what i mean Come that's on. like there, there the was a tweet know. a few months ago and they were like yeah the profanity filter is strictly for parents hiding it from their children so that's uh yeah. that's a, that's which is a good feature you're muted sure yeah bro. yeah 
I, I was 10 years old playing World of Warcraft. It was a rough time out there. I'm just saying. It's like, if they really cared about the profanity, they just, they just, they just auto-enable the profanity filter. It's just like, you know, you, it's the S word and the F word. It's, it's fucking shit that bad. If it's that bad that you can get banned for it. There are just slurs auto, just that, are not muted. Are muted, that are not just, muted in the game, just, by the way. Just like, like auto, automatically like censor what? it in the chat. Like, I, I don't understand. It's like, yeah, is, it's is, crazy. Is, is, is it better just ban everyone? If it's that bad, yeah. then why don't you just censor it? You have the tools to censor it in the game. Just fucking censor it then. Like, isn't Dude. that better? Yeah. If they actually, like, make it so you can't even type the words, no, then I'm just like, oh, man. It'd be like the GG Easy thing all over again, you know? Yeah, but at, yeah. But at least... <laughs> so, but didn't at someone least... get banned for writing GG Easy? I don't know. No, surely well, not, right? I feel like it's better than people getting banned. Like, like I, I think it's I think it's all bad. Like, you don't, you don't want any Your of this. Asses. But, like, oh, if, yeah. if the choice you is you get banned... Accounts. If you get Just banned or like, yeah, or permamuted an account, like, why? Why do they go straight? To the, why do they go to the ban? Like, it's so weird. Yeah. Like I said, there's a lot of context we're probably missing, and the player clearly is probably missing as well. Obviously, because Blizzard CS aren't like telling them anything. They just release the logs and actually understand. They probably won't, and it'll probably just be another situation where it just goes away, and it won't go away for the player involved at all because it's kind of ruining and destructive to what they're currently doing in collegiate. So, the 30 day ban is quite a long time as well. So if you're in collegiate, bro, like that's. Up. Yeah. yeah i mean and it's funny because the player in question derpy he's a ryan one trick or like spams ryan and so i'm sure he gets mass reported just for that oh a hundred percent and so I and so what that means yeah, like player. oh you're just permanently under a microscope because people are going to report yeah. you for like the wrong reasons just because they're <laughs> mad yeah that's um, true dude why did i hate ryan our players because Ryan's bad so play a better hero <laughs> dave johnny i mean it's funny because he's very good at ryan too actually he's like probably the better one of the better if not the best ryan one track on the ladder and so like it's just very it's like a very noticeably weird thing to have happen for a competitive player buff ryan yeah. man so yeah, buff ryan. Uh, let, and, let derpy play the game yeah, yeah just just it's so bad and i agree you guys maybe they'll not say anything but i really wish i really wish I we had either no communication at all would would have been better than saying fucking shit our our bannable offenses to say those words yeah. i mean that is Truly mind-boggling, right? In like a PG-13 game, I, I understand in a certain context, maybe it can be in the DNC so that you can ban people to like avoid, like you said, you know, give yourself some room to enforce if somebody's clearly do, being a bad actor and you can have something in the TNC that lets you ban them. But to just enforce this on somebody who's almost certainly being mass reported for playing Ryan Hart <laughs> <laughs> and he's getting his ban of help because he's a the curse word. It's... It's just so it's ludicrous and on so many directions. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's move on with the show. We have lots more to talk about, including season ten. But for that, let's go ahead with the main segment of today's show. We are ranking all the mythic skins. The much-awaited Joss release mm -hmm. of the Mercy mm -hmm. Mythic skin Mercy in Overwatch Mind. 2. It's an okay. absolute ginga banger. It's a beauty of it's a, a skin. Fire skin. So it's a fire it's, skin. it's fire. It's unbelievable. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, it's first, pretty good. Avril, first quick play game of day one, season 10. And I shit you not, both teams have a mercy with the new Mythic skin already equipped season 10 and put the fund over to development for the next 20 years. So for those people who don't know, you can actually go to the Mythic shop and buy credits and just get the mercy skin on day one. So this is a gorgeous picture by you, Avril, uh, yeah, with, with two I'm Mythic I'm mercy a good skins. photographer, guys. I'm a good, I actually found the I was like, you know what? How do I best showcase this in a screenshot? I was like, surely there's a moment where they fly into each other and they do. So there it hey, is. Papa, you know. you like, team. Hot take, you guys. I think we're due for. Let's get a mercy meta for a month or two. Let's yeah, just, I'm just down. a month or two. I'm down. Not who, who a year. Screenshot. But I, it's been a while since I've seen Mercy. You know, I think Mercy could use a little love or maybe a slight rework or something. Yeah. How do you know? How do you know I'm not Kiriko's milk? Kiriko's milk. Dude, <laughs> no, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. Sorry? I'm streaming. What? Are you? I was using the new streamer mode, guys. Oh. Brand new streamer mode. I was putting into putting some work in. What the hell? Uh, you just rename streamer. Does everybody else see you as streamer, or do you come up as garbage no, so, like jumbled? So you can you have options like so the enemy team. So everyone else sees you as a different name. You yeah. can show yourself as streamer so that people can't That'd be like, so dumb. That would be very stupid of you to streamer mode and then name yourself streamer. No, no, like, no. And so no, the streamer is local. The, stream, that the stream is local only. The streamer name is local. I was gonna only. say okay, yeah, yeah. okay. That's gonna. Wow. Be um, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, like um, yeah, it's it's dude. People saying it's like oh maybe like. They unlocked it already. Um, no, I believe no way, Skizzy, right? so I, I believe Skitsy said Skitsy said she played like twenty hours or something to unlock it on day one. 
So unless these two Mercies also play like 20 hours in a row to unlock I've it, also you need... seen like two or three Mercy OTPs in ranked also with this skin. Yeah. People are buy spending 75 bucks. Almost everyone has right now. I, I, it. I, almost I think that's bought. Yeah. It's almost guaranteed to be bought yeah. because it takes no, so sure. long to get level 48 Battle Pass day one. It would take yeah. so long. So yeah, 90% of it would be Well, have if you to be buy bought. the ultimate, you get like 20 levels. You need like 28 levels. Um, yeah, you need. It does yeah, seem people could have bought the, um, the extra the super battle. Well, okay, but yeah, but if, you, if you bought it. Ult, sorry, but if you bought the ultimate that you still bought, so I think that's still like okay, anyone, fair enough. Not, not <laughs> fair for you, enough. not not. No, it's not. A, that's not against what you said, but like anyone else, it's like, oh yeah, well you know you get twenty battle pass for ultimate. It's like okay, but you still spent money. My point is, money has been spent, people. Money has been spent, and um, we're top five right now. Someone took a screenshot. And I just I just blatantly ripped off this screenshot of us being top five on the sales charts for revenue on Steam. Um, oh. We don't have we don't have revenue for Steam. we don't have other yeah. revenue we don't have revenue figures for like other platforms. That is since crazy, we do yeah. have Steam, it's nuts. And like Steam is like a microcosm, and you can imagine if it's good on Steam, you have to assume it's good everywhere else. Yeah, it's a fair sample size, perhaps, and and it's Overwatch is not particularly huge on Steam, so yeah, for it to be top five on know. Steam suggests that it's very wow. very successful on other platforms. Yeah, look at that number as well. Eight the, the in top sellers. There. Yeah, number eight spike. right now, live right. And Number eight is the big spike right now. That's when it uh, that's... went live, right? Does that uh, include like microtransactions? Or sure. is that... I guess so. I, I don't know. Well, well, the, well, sales, the sales are only microtransactions, right? We're yeah, because it's free to play, right? So it's just transactions in the game. Are we, are we out of overwhelmingly negative yet? Are we just in the mostly no, negative dude, now? Dude, we got 17.74 no positive reviews. Like, no, but ain't that's, no that's, way, What's bro. the threshold? What's the threshold for overwhelming and mostly? Oh, we're mostly negative... Okay, that's recent to be fair, but still. <laughs> I feel like it's just a crazy review bomb, man. I, people are so weird for review bombing. It's like it's how many reviews did say? Ironically, Jake. Ironically, Jake. It was a bunch of TF2 players. <laughs> it was it was the most diehard TF2 players. Doing are there even two hundred thousand TF2 players though? I just still like I don't I don't know. If it's, it's like true. fifty concurrent. They still get like fifty, yeah, and they're like play. Are, I, I don't know about I don't, I don't know it's fair to blame any one group for the review bombing. But... I just see I just see a lot of the bombing. I don't want to get into a huge review bombing topic. I just saw a lot of the bombing was like a TF2 better or like a link to the TF2 <laughs> store page. That was a lot of the bombing is what I saw. That did good for them. All right. They get to enjoy their time review bombing. All right. Uh, what is a good sign nonetheless? It's, the, it's right, climbing on Steam. Um, again, even just getting more casuals involved. It's good for the game. I think we just want the game to succeed. And it seems like, you know, it's climbing a little bit. Fair to assume oh. the same on, on Battle.net, so... Good news. Good news overall. Anyway, back to the mythic skins. You know, obviously a banger. Do we? Uh, do we? Do, do you have the list up, Solomon? Do the tier maker. That's our favorite website on Platchat. The tier maker. Oh. We got all the mythic skins. Uh, do you have the game client going as well, Solomon? We go and check these out. Oh, here Let's you go. go. Look at him. Go here you go. There. Let's just kick it off with mercy is, right now. It's badass. This is this a glorious heat. skin. The wings. The amount of customization too, it is very sick. I don't like the, the default so much. I mean, it's okay, but... The, okay. I like the red color though. Tier 3 visor, tier yeah. 3 weapon, tier 1 hair, blue, black, white color scheme. Nope. Yep. Blue. Boom. That's the skin. That's 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 that looks the, like that normal Mercy again. That looks best. like Overwatch Mercy. But yeah, I don't blue. like the visor. The visor looks a little bit a default. Fan. You that gotta get the skull face evil. going. I want the evil. I want the level four skull. Yeah, you gotta get the, the level four going. Skull and go red. Now go red. That's what. That's the. I am gonna rock that. I mean, that, that is pretty sick. That sure. is pretty sick. Level two. What about level two visor? How's the level two visor looking? Or the face mask thing? And then level one is just the scout is not bad. It's a little dragon Dragon Ball Z going on. Ooh, that hair looks good. I like the ponytail. That that one. I like the ponytail. The pistol How about the weapon? In Let's look at the different the weapons. The alternate version um, is very, very good. The pistol. Uh, if you click on the right hand side, Solomon, is, there's a little Up pistol right. icon. Yeah. That's Go level one. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, whoa, you can't. That, oh. one, that, one, that one. Look at that. Look at that shit. It looks like um, That's fire, actually. Uh, Halo? a blaster from Star Wars, bro. Oh. Oh, wow. yeah, no, that's like a plasma pistol. Gun. From that Halo does look like a Halo gun. <laughs> plasma pistol? Yeah, yeah plasma Yeah, I mean, pistol. in general, I think the skin is very oh, good. I, I would. Very good. It's either A or S, surely, right? This is hang on, hang on, hang on. You haven't even seen the best part. Hang on, but you haven't even seen the best part. The best part is the in-game VFX. The res has a brand yeah, new set of VFX. VFX. The, mm, even yeah. the beams, like I can't believe I'm simping Good. for Mercy this hard. It's just, are the I'll beams different color or the different beams, parts? The, the beams have different effects. The beams are like different. 
Wow. The, the beams are the way, way fucking the better, beams. guys. This might be an S tier. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've already bought the skin. I'm going to go heal. And then the pistol as well. The pistol is a different sound effect. It's crunchier. It's poppier. It's got better feedback. When you shoot the pistol, it feels and sounds good. I promise you. I am simping for mercy. I can't believe I'm simping right now. It's I saw somebody crazy. post. It's like one of the highlight intros, the one the it's, I think it's called Rescue Run, where you like you're like a lifeguard running to save people. If you have this skin on, there's like an explosion. Wait, really? Like, there's an explosion behind you if you have what? the mythic on. <laughs> Wait, that's that's such a cool. I saw this on Twitter. I right, Solomon, buy it right now. You're gonna show yeah, us. Buy, buy it. it. Buy <laughs> Seventy five <laughs> bucks, Solomon. Platon buy it right now. Fund you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tax right off. But all right, guys. I think is it fair to start this off in S tier? It's so good. I mean, it's, there's so it's, much uh, customization. I, I don't play go Mercy, go but like, range right I'm now still gonna buy. I have this. one slight complaint. Can I bring yeah. one slight complaint? Okay, I wish I wish it had like one different kind of like color, because I'm not. I don't love any of the colors. Like the blue wings are really cool. The red it's wings are really cool. Though. But I wish there was like a yellow one or like an orange yellow. one. But like, Ugh. I wish it was. Orange. Yeah, orange I'm, a big orange, I'm a big orange. What are these colors? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Uh, well, I'm it, simping it fits for mercy. the theme of the season, though. The red That is true. Blue. Yes, blue and red. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Red you know what? Versus blue team. Me with another bad take. Who would have thought? You know, you have to you know eat what? Your heart out. You know what would be the, the instant double your sales? Like even more sales than we have now? Pink. pink. Naked top? Or a pink one in there. <laughs> Oh, okay. Pink, or a pink one oh, in there, yeah. and it would be like it would be like bro, number, number, number one, like number one steam sales, number one steam sales right now. Actually, it would be yeah, because people are so pissed that they can't get pink mercy. Yeah, I think I think when we uh, rank these skins, we'll talk a lot about customization. But I think that the ability altering effects and like ultimate yeah, altering I mean, things VFX are like huge because that's what gets to experience it's a lot sick. of it, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah Can we go Genji next? Can we go Genji? Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. I think it's Genji. All right, or we can do go... it the other way, reverse chronological, if you want to do Moira next. Okay, yeah, sure, let's do reverse. Yeah, let's, do reverse let's go ahead and do like uh, season nine, Moira. Okay, I fucking hate Moira, but goddamn, this skin is amazing. Holy it is fire. shit. The graph, uh, the uh, the graphical, like the eyes when you the throw out the orbs, so they have oh my god, they're like little Cthulhu eyes, and they 100% base that off Cthulhu, Johnny, and you know it. The twitching of the eyes and stuff. Is and the voice, um, the voice it, is different. All her voice lines the are voice different. Is when different. You have the skin she has no face. Like this that skin is, is elite, sick. though. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm so rocking. Good. Is the the no face one? J Maybe just the, the the sound effects. One. I'm like a big uh, like I eldritch horror kind of vibey it's shit. Good. That I really like that. But like all these the actual on sound effects, God. like when you use coal and stuff too, it's so good. It's just yeah. so nice. Although. The one, the one thing that does gross me out a little bit when you melee, it's so squelchy. I don't know if anybody else. Squelchy. Is, it is. It, it sounds <laughs> I mean, slow. Tentacle me. monster, right? Which makes sense, yeah, because she's like a tentacle monster thing. This one's Eldritch pretty horror. dang good, man. It's, it's hard so to rank good. mythic skins because skin all the mythic you can skin skins max are the no fine. face. Where like you're just like the invisible skin cast skin, where like yeah, no one can max. see your face, so you just you can't get hit shot, guys. Skin max. That's facts. Real talk. I think I think this is skin just on the fact that the the vfx and the sfx they're, uh, they, they're just they're just top tier they're just elite yeah i kind of agree this one was also very good they've, they've actually went they went crazy over the last two seasons with the uh, mythic skins even though if they have two of the heroes i don't really like the voice lines for me do it for me in a big way yes the, the... yes oh wait cool. the there fade go. god the fade looks good too i forgot about how good the fade looks you don't see it first person but Oh, this the is crazy! Are my favorite oh, part wow. of the kit, like that, that you see them go across the battlefield and they twitch around, like it's it's very cool. It's very these cool. eyes are like twitching and looking at you while you have them in, yeah. in your hands. God, that's good. it's even cooler when they move slow when they're like hitting. people. Yeah, while they're healing people, it's like, really oh, good. Yeah, it's or yeah, it's. Oh, it's awesome. I really like it. I think it's, it's a really sick skin. skin. Jump the call lesson, twitching. Solomon. Is that it? Oh, yeah, it's it. like a. And she's like that. feeding her other hand with the energy. Yeah, I didn't even arm, notice right? that animation. But she's she feeding like... her the sound effects. Hand into it's the a thing. different sound effect as well, I think. Yeah, it is. It is. It's all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like every SF, S every SFX has changed. I think on, yes, on this. It's screen. very cool. No, the, this has nothing special, sadly. But goddamn, no. It's... Yeah, I think it's it's it's, it's, it's a six skin. It's cool as shit. It's a six skin. So do you want to go S S back to back? S. I honestly, what about? I even think the Moira one might be better than the Mercy one. No, like, I, I, like, I, I don't know. know. No, because the the Eldritch VFX. I guess up. Mercy also has some good VFX. The Mercy VFX are, are unbelievable. The, the Res VFX is is, is oh. so sick. The Res looks cool. 
So I think it's the most actually fine with them both. Actually, like when you when you actually play it in game and you see the the beam VFX, it's it's yeah. great, man. Like it like has this gradient of color between. It's kind of like this red black. The heel beam is like this kind of red black. It's so so slick. Like I'm willing to go different. with S because it is literally funding Overwatch right now. Yeah, I, I, I think like, these are both S tier skins. <laughs> that in of itself the purpose of it. is worth for S. Like, All right, <gasps> I'd put it. We resolved but, okay. it. SS Arissa. Uh, oh the my beetle. god. I'm going to say something. We weren't allowed to do that. Remember that tier list we did on the... Uh, oh, wait, here we go. We here we go. Here's that Mercy uh, animation. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, uh, that's pretty oh, oh, this is so nasty. Than Moira. This is better than Moira. No, Absolutely. bro. Come on. Moira, you don't red that much. Wait, let's see the beam. Let's see the beam. Do they have it here? Do they have anything else? You can, well, you can, no. There's a game. The you can do something yeah. called like trial the skin. It's like try the skin or something in the battle pass. And then it like, sends you into a training range where you can just use the skin. Cause I fucked around with the skin. Can you in the do game that still like, with the prisms though? I don't know if you can do yeah, that. Yeah, you anymore. can. You can. So, um, I, I, I did it yesterday. I'm trying to remember how, but there's like, yeah, you, you, when you look at the, there's a button that says try, try the skin. And you look at the skin. I don't, I don't know if you can get that through. You have to go through the mythic shop. I I don't know. If you can't figure it out, Solomon, we can just move on. We don't need to get stuck trying to figure it out. But, oh, Solomon found it. He's Solomon's found on the it. case. He's Let's show it off. Well. Let's show off some of these animations. Let's see it. Oh, oh, here's the Moyer one. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those eyes. Look at them. Look at them. Damage Moira. Oh my god, he's got. Wait, he's got. Solomon, you're popping off right here. Yeah, hang on. Oh, there you go. Wait, look at you go. It's so cool, bro. It is. A, it's a very fun skin to use. Can you try Mercy? Do we, do do you have Mercy? Let's go ahead. Go ahead. You don't Pick have to up. own. You don't have to own the skin. You just have to um. Yeah. Okay. That's All right. Cool. I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna get the merge stuff, but uh, that's fine. We'll, it's fine. We'll, we'll I think see. they're both S. They all it, they have fine. so much VFX and SFX. Uh, They've continued to level up with the mythic skins over time, so it's no surprise that the, the most recent ones are really good. However, this Arissa one is oh, a little man. weak. Okay, a little bit oh man, it's 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 a like this it is the lowest. It, oh, it doesn't it feel like a mythic D. skin. Let's take a look at it, but it doesn't well, feel like a mythic mostly because it resembles an already like legendary, right? Battle bug Arissa or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. The bug. So yeah. it's kind of like an upgraded legendary version, but I it feel lacks like a lot of customization. There's Arissa legendaries I would use Grand over this. That's the thing. There's there's no sick customization. Yeah. There's That's no like huge ability skill. altering. The, there is a projectile change on the primary weapon, but. Yes. The ultimate, he, no, so the, the ultimate has the sound. The, the yeah, ultimate has the SFX is, uh, VFX is really good. The yeah. sand no, stuff is really, really no, good. No, it's not that different. I tried it that 10 is, minutes ago. It's really no, 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 good. It is it's different, little... but it's not that. I mean, it's different. a mythic skin, right? So they're all going to have some kind of VFS or SFX, but compared to the others. Yeah, it's not. Right? Good. Compared, like for a legendary skin, this would be S tier, you know, but, but there's just a higher standard with how good the mythics are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna see someone like the the shooting is all right, I but guess. I'm gonna be it's honest. Like a little different. I've I've worn this Arisa skin for so long now, but like the projectile is so annoying. Like I kind of right? want to swap away from the skin because you get really tired of how like big and blasty the projectiles are. How dare it be so blasty? Yeah, exactly. Whee, look at that. Yeah, I don't know. You get if the you ult get, if you grab the, the thing on your left. Yeah. Solomon. Also, look at that armor, bro. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Yeah, this, this sand, is... I quite like the sand thing. I think it's quite it's cool. It's cool. probably one of the more redeeming parts of the skin, but I am just not a fan of this one. This, I this think is the compared lowest. Compared to the others, it's skin. weak. It's weak. Yes. I don't know about F. I don't know if there's any of them that are truly F for me, but this is probably like D or C. Sure. I, I, I would do a D. I think a D is fine. I, I don't just think there's any F. Like, I, I, like, uh, I do D. I would be yeah, surprised D. if there's truly an F. I think it sets a bad sense. precedent. Sure. For, for yeah, mythics. If there was a myth and an F, it would be like, they need to rework it. Like, that'd be crazy. To be fair, this isn't that bad, but it's probably one of the worst. They released a D tier skin, and then they released two S's back to back, so fuck it. Like, you know exactly. what? Exactly. You're, Not you're, you're let off. This time, you're let off for the, <laughs> the Arisa skin. Everybody kind of forgot about it, so it's all good, because the next two were fucking sick. I think it'd be cool if they, like, redid all of her voice lines, like they did Moira, but do them where you, they're like, it's like unintelligible screeching. So like, she, she's like an animal, you know? Like, <laughs> like rather than, like, a robot Wait, who's, be sick. who's like, programmed to help Nabani, she's like an evil you know what? bug beast, you one know? Of the, uh, one of the best parts about the skin, which is, like, this is not like particularly exciting, but for some reason it is for me. On the hero select screen, the mythic skins have different like intros on the hero select screen. So not like in, in the yeah, play of the yeah, game, yeah, but yeah. hero select. But like, the Arisa one. Oh yeah, I I quite like the Arisa one where she just like 
she's like screaming at you it's like real monsterish i quite i quite like that sort of kaiju feel going on so it's one redeeming part but yeah obviously we, weaker on the on the list i think d is fair uh not very many customizations but unfortunate hanzo i feel like also a, a bad skin also no, no i skin. actually disagree there there's no really? customization but i actually think this the skin in isolation is sick yeah it's pretty cool but like i don't know i just don't love it like the lack of customization in this one actually like deranks little... the uh the skin like, Dude, it's so was, cool if there was more bows i don't like, even like be, the weapons on the skin honestly I'd be Dude, it's I a like... skeleton bow okay yeah, Fuck the skeleton bow. Cool, I, I don't give, give a shit about that one. The, what? The, the default, the default for this skin this one, is just infinitely better. I think than no. the other customization options. But Agree. Like I, I said, use the default. The default goes hard because the default color scheme is like that. That. Yeah, blue, yeah, yeah. The default is the best the, color scheme. Honestly. Yes. The blue and the red and the darker blues. I really so like the, it. The blue contrasts but, with the rest of the skin so well. And like then the default skin. bow as well. That's what I run. Pure default. Um, but I just think the skin is just lacking so much. Like. They could have done. They did it with JQ, where you could do or... the uh, the shoulder pad or like something like that. Like more uh, one more bow. Like there was just so many lacking things in this skin, and it just came down to the customization, like the options to to change. It's just There's kind of some SFX when you shoot, and like VFX on the. I wish these the, dragons were like more. The dragon effects are very weak. Like, I find no, the effects they're very not weak. weak. They're no, sick. No, no. No, this the is shooting so, so, like, this is so much. The shooting, it's like the shooting very, stuff is it's very nothing. marginal. It's very hard to tell what's different. It is a little bit different. There's like a little it's like a minor sound arrow, effect. But... I think it's a minor sound effect as well, but you can barely tell. Storm arrows. Yeah, yeah, the sound effects. Do the, the, the arrows go hard? Do the arrows look different when you level up the skin? Because those arrows look different from the ones. I don't know if I'm. It's probably. I think yeah, crazy. there's bow, different. Maybe the bow it changes the arrow as well. Yeah. Like the dragon strike the alt. Like that looks kind of cool. That does. Look it's sick. like the the actual dragons with the spines and stuff. It's, I mean, it yeah. has it's to pretty. Be. This one, it's pretty this one is like awesome. a gimme though. Look it at has that. To be sick. There's no yeah, way you can say that's good. bad. No, it's yeah. not bad. But like the thing that kills the skin is the fact that it has like two fucking options. Yeah, yeah. This would be a really good skin if it just had like one other part of his body you could customize. You know. Yeah. I can. Like, I can like, tell you this like, The hair or the sh or the clothes or just something. One more layer of customization. This. This is the yeah. cheapest mythic skin. You want to know why? Because you just need to buy level one and you don't bother leveling it up. That's why. Yeah, that's true. So just 50 prisms, don't level it up. Solid. Done. Cheapest Biggest mythic skin. skin. <laughs> no, I yeah. love my skeleton bow. This is, look, I, I'm an Orisa player. This is better than the Orisa one. This is a I'll C. I'll say C. I'll, I'll give you it's better, better than, than the Orisa one. The Orisa one is so bad. It is better than the Orisa one. Like, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think it is. I think it's got worse effects, VFX, uh, worse what? sound effects. No, um, it I'm, has... I'm, I think it looks bad cooler than the Arista skin, though, since it's like a ghost. I think stuff, it's cooler. You know? Arista's one is like an upgraded legendary skin, like the, the it, fucking Beetle one. This one is mid tier for sure. I think it's a C. I don't. I, if it had more customization options, it would easily be a B for me. But because it only has two weapons, three colors, I think that's where it hold, uh, everything is held back. All right. Oh, no, All sorry. Right. Cyber Honor. Robot Honor. Sorry. Okay. Can I have hot take? Because I play Honor the most here. Give me the hot take. I don't like this. You I don't, don't like even use much. this skin. No. I use this skin. No, I don't. I don't know what it is. You got to be max theme... level though. This one is the opposite of the Hanzo. You need to be max level, or else it's not good. I think it's the all theme everything theme. max level. Well, actually, I don't know about the colors, but the the yeah. the face, the max level face, is so sick. It does not do it for me. I'm sorry. Like the... I think it's the theme of the skin that I don't like. <laughs> I don't like um, this color uh, scheme though. Uh, what, yeah. Which color do I use? I like do you think the I use purple maybe color. the starting color scheme. Yeah, I like the purple color skin. Purple, I, mean, real, I, I like the level one mask because it doesn't change the mask it changes the whole body so you get like this skeletal look she's a literal skeleton in the level one and um i don't know it's it's like the bulkier clothing and the other levels it's anti-skin maxing guys i'm not gonna lie it makes your hitbox look bigger it, so uh, it, I you gotta make it you gotta make it skinny hitbox. <laughs> and that, i mean honestly arguably it's a benefit to have your hitbox appear bigger since it doesn't actually change so it makes it harder to is determine benefit? Well, yeah, I mean, my point more, is skin maxing is a ridiculous skin. concept because arguably having a it's bigger funny. hitbox or like a visually bigger hitbox would make it easier for people to think they're going to hit you, but actually miss. Like, where, huh. whereas having a smaller hitbox like, or, or a smaller visual thing, it doesn't change people's actual I disagree. shots it's on you, skin you know? maxing. No. Skinnier, skinnier <laughs> hitbox. Looks better. I mean, I mean, it's not a, not if the hitbox were skinnier, that would be very good. But it's not. It's the it's the visual uh, that looks different. 
I do not like this skin. I'm sorry. The sound effects are kind of cool. I don't use it. I use what? Well, honestly, do I use Captain Mario still? I might actually use Captain Mario still. I I'm using. Wow. I'm I use this. This is. I think that's the color wash. scheme I use. I use the orange with the the level three. I think this is my skin actually. Oh, Johnny's favorite color, color orange. Right Purple and orange. I think it works because it's just the orange is relatively subtle, right? You only see it from the inside of her cape, and I will I just say like the hair. The, I like the, wire the, the issue I have with the skin is it has the least amount of VFX because I don't think you can change Anna's VFX by that much. Yeah. So that's like a bit of an issue. So when you shoot the gun, it sounds slightly different. But visually, nothing changes. Visually, the sleep dart nade, the gun, it's all basically identical to default Anna, which is not very good. That's an issue. Okay, I use Night Hawker, which is the one from the previous battle pass. Oh no, that's from the Arissa battle pass where she's like, uh, she has like a cape and it's like out. She's like an owl. She looks kind of sick. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like it that much. I'm going to be honest. The voice I lines use... are pretty cool, but overall. <sighs> Dude, I like it's... the voice line. I like the skin. I mean, all right. Come. How about, what do you guys think about a B tier here? I feel like it is better B? than Hanzo. B. Maybe it's just because I like I, the style I, more than Hanzo. It's better than Hanzo. Frankly. It's and, got and way more think... options than Hanzo. Yeah, yeah. A lot of customization. Like, we have different preferences about which one we like the most, which makes the skin better. It's right? cool, like... <sighs> Yeah, I mean. Yeah, the nano effect is actually pretty sick. I, didn't I think it's how a B. different it was. It's a B. <laughs> You're throwing Only because it has more customization. Them. I'm happy with B. Yeah. yeah. More customization it's got enough customization to be Hanzo. clearly better than Hanzo and Arisa, I yes. think, though. Because there's just so many options. Even though yes. we don't all agree on the best. It cannot, be go, it a, cannot go A. There's no fucking way. Yeah, that's fair. That's way. Fair. All right. I'm sorry. Let's move on to Night Tracer. Kevster notoriously always rocks his skin and scrims. I think he uses level it. one, though. He doesn't use the max level. Because the yeah, guns get is. bigger. So talk about skins maxing. I feel it's like the guns on maxing. this... Yes, exactly. I, I think the <laughs> guns on this skin actually work against you. There's a couple the, of skins the, in the game... When you shoot, it, like, obscures your screen really bad. Yeah, the there's a couple level. of skins in game when it does that, and it's actually fucking annoying. On a sniper skin is one of them. The gun is huge. Like, the barrel the of the gun is isn't sick, skinny. Though. It's actually it's, so sick. It's a sick skin. It has really cool customization options. The problem is... Anti-skin maxing yeah, with the weapons. Skin maxing. Which is the best part about all of this is I've I've bought Jake into the idea of skin maxing, even though it's completely fake. But I've bought him in anyway. But look at so that. No, a w. no, w. no. All right. The, the bigger view insane. model is the only legitimate skin maxing. The tier four is crazy. Bigger view is, model is like you view model is like when you see the gun. Skin maxing. You can no, you, want, you want smaller? You want smaller gun or bigger gun? Sorry. Smaller. Smaller. I want to see the screen. That's why Farah sucks because it's like half your screen. It's a cool guns. You do not use it. Because it's anti-skin maxing. That, nope. You have to use tier 3. I still ran it for a while, but I, I've gone back to T-Racer. I've gone back to some of the OG Overwatch 1 legendaries. I feel like that's the, that's been my fashion sense these days in Overwatch. So the level 4 gun's the best, right? Because the level 1 gun is the biggest one, I think? Or am I crazy? Am I wrong? Which is the I best? I think the level, level 4 is the, the worst, one, no? Yes. Because you have like the... Do you no, make like the, there's like the sparks when you shoot. Crossbows, bro. Dude, there's it like sounds so cool when, when you shoot, shoot, though, Jake. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, but it's like... <laughs> The like, color scheme, though, weird. the it teal and see. the gray and the white, I really yeah, yeah. I, like this. I, I, and I like the night helm so much. I think the hat looks really cool. It looks really cool, yeah. I, the feathers, I really the like feathers pop big. out? Like, if you're hiding in a bush, you, people can see your feathers, right? Like a oh, pop my shirt. God. That oh. really... I mean, I guess Just that's that. pretty marginal, though, because if they can see any part of your body, it's outlined in red. Yeah, the guns are a little bit too big for me. Oh, well, we're talking about traces hiding in bushes, though, right? As a legitimate thing in this okay. game. The sound is, effects are really cool. actually... The the post yeah, it's not skins too. maxing at all. This is how you look OG. You use the, the tracer skin you got with the Origins edition, um, Aviator Tracer, where she doesn't have the thing in the middle and she has aviators on and she has a fucking blue and orange like jumpsuit fighter pilot stuff. That is the best tracer skin, in my opinion. Yeah. This one's sunglasses on, people can't see her eyes. Skin exactly. Maxing. I get and it. you can't they don't know where you're looking. Yeah, exactly. Yes, true, big true. Hide yep. your true intentions for when you play poker. You guys Overwatch. can't be serious. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, in all honesty, though, uh, this skin is an easy A for me. Easily. Easy A. a. I would have really? said S tier. I think it's yeah. S tier. S I think the, you got, the, I think the effects the... alone, like the Wait, bomb. S tier? No. no, it's definitely no, not it's S tier. Not compared to Moira, though. The Moira goes crazy. And Mercy. I feel like A. I feel like A is a good spot for a tracer. It's a good I... spot. Okay, I was going to say B. Skin. It's B for me, but we can go A. I just, I don't, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm okay with B as well, but, but S, I can't, I, I can't abide an S tier here. The amount of customization options you get, plus 
how there's a lot how of them. different you look i think it's easy it's like me. there's no, very I... low vfx though like you know I'm here with nothing's that. I'm here with that. really the changed looks about... really different when you stick somebody it looks really that's cool. the same as a nano on the arno though right it's like okay the ultimate changes slightly but everything else is like identical so it's like not it's, really that exciting it's more noticeable there's a level one because... guns these aren't that bad. Yeah, look how enormous. fucking massive they are, bro. They're kind of enormous. It's crazy. <laughs> this pulse is like what sells it for me. I love the pulse. Pulse yeah. is the best part. The rest of it, I don't think is that exciting. Just me personally. Shooting the guns is cool too. Like the VFX, I, lo I love the sound effects. It really feels magic-y. I'm okay with A. It's cool. I think A is a nice, All right. a nice compromise. All right. A. Let's put it A. Now, Jaws had his hot take. Here's my hot take. I really don't like the Sigma skin. I think it's I so bad. I don't use the skin, actually. It's one of the only mythics I don't use, even though I have I, th I think it's so, so bad. Really? It's, it's like a use? legendary. What do it's you like use? a slightly better Flying legendary. Dutchman. I use Flying Dutchman. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Flying that's Dutchman's pretty good. good. I, like I, I use the... Um, yeah, I use cool the um, season nine. It's whatever the like the Cthulhu looking skin is. The one with the tentacles is my one. Oh like that yeah, one. that's All right, pretty this cool. This one is kind of sick, actually. Now that I look at it, though, I kind of okay. Well, there's a lot of customization, but like it's not. I don't love it. Oh, you're in the Vegas Eternal home skin? Because oh, God it doesn't... The Vegas fun? Eternal skins. It doesn't, like, affect the... Uh, there's no real, like, VFX or... Oh, there's some sound effects kind of thing, too. But, like, it doesn't feel that cool to play. Like, it's just... I like the one where he has, like, the hat. Yeah, this one, like max one. level. It the looks kind of sick. It looks yeah, like, like a general. Yeah. yeah. I don't I, love okay. the orbs, either. I really like it. The I think it's because, again, I like the theme like of the battle pass as well. Like, space opera is fucking sick. Also, level three color scheme is the best one. Uh, I think Solomon has the, the correct. Yeah, level three is the best one. Yeah, level three. <clears throat> and the, this exact one right here, I think, is the best one. Yeah, you have, like, the chevron fire. almost on the shoulder pads, and you have the little tassels coming down. I really like this skin. It's very Space Commander, it's Galactic Emperor. Awesome. Exactly. This is pretty Space delicious. Commander. Thing is, pretty, pretty it, elite. it's awesome. like it. It looks good on a legendary standard. I just don't know if I feel the mythic of it because exactly. I don't see enough like changes. I don't see enough, you know, cool VFX. And I think on Sigma, you could do more VFX. I understand on Arn, it's like sleep dot left click. It's kind of hard, but no, it'd be nice if like the shield was had something special on it. It'd be be nice Change if, like, the accretion the rock to like a meteor or something. It. it doesn't need to be like hugely different. I just want to see something different. Like the shift, the shift is not even really that different as well. Everything's identical. You know, it just doesn't feel mythic. It feels like a top legendary, but not mythic. Yeah, isn't that default rock? Am I trolling? Is that default rock? Uh, there's a little bit of color in there. I don't know if that's yeah. normal. I feel like they should have changed the rock a little bit. Although I guess you can't change it that much, but maybe make it more like. The shield has its little edges okay, on it. Okay, you can. But, but here's wow. the thing. You can, I, think people, I don't give a shit. I think people. I think people, would, I think people would argue. I think people would argue is like, okay, maybe it's not good from a readability standpoint for other players. But I think local side, you can change it more local side, so it looks better for you. That'd be nicer. Yeah. At least. Let's see the left click. Actually, I think it looks different. The left click. The left maybe, click. That's it. Not, it's not really. Maybe a little bit different. I don't play it's got, it's it's got the way you resummon the orbs. Surely that's not. Is that actually standard? After you shoot. When they just pop uh, out of thin air, I think well, that's like a when bit you different. like, you know, they like they like come out of like the singularity or whatever. I think I, that's I a little bit. I can't remember. Uh, I've never looked at how the. I feel like that doesn't respawn. look standard, but I don't think about it when I play. So I literally don't know. I can tell. I can and test then when, right when they now. splash, that for sure looks different. No, the little black hole okay, effect I, they make I, when they splash. It's not different. It's not different. The way the orbs reappear is the same. Oh. Uh, and the it's splash. Is the splash from the though that looks a little more noticeable than normal? Yeah, um, I think I agree with they that. They make a little black hole effect when you shoot the left clicks. You left click again, one more time. Show it again. Like where the impact is. No, that looks kind of standard to hang on. Is it really not like no, 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 no. that? No, I feel no, like there's no, you're no right, way. Right. It is slightly different. It is a bit different. The left click is a bit different. It also yeah. sounds a bit different. When you're like, point blank and you're shooting something, t like you're hitting an enemy point blank, that's when you can really tell, I think. So I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I it's weird, but I don't, I don't I'm like defending the skin. skin, but in the end, I don't use the skin, so it's probably not that. On a good. percentage basis, compared to the other mythics, I'm more likely to wear a different legendary Sigma skin with this yeah, one. Agreed. Like it, it's not much better than the other legendary C? skins. It's like a C or a D for I me. I go than... C personally. I go, I go C. C as it's well. Definitely better C. than Arisa. It's better than Come Arisa. On, so much customization. It's better than Arisa. Yeah, it's also better than Hanzo's skin. More customers. I don't. I don't. I mean, right, let's not rank within the tiers, guys. I propose they, they we should, not we rank. We haven't got many, to be fair. So we could do that. I'm just saying we haven't got too many. I've got too many. 
Let's let's leave it in C. C, C, C. Okay, C. let's leave it in C. All right. Kiriko. All right. Kiriko. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Also, don't use this. I, I kind of slept on the Kiriko skin, but I'm a fan. Are you? I'm yeah, not, I kind of slept skin. on it, but the level four, the highest upgrade Kiriko, it's pretty freaking sick. All right, let's Anti check it skins out. maxing. Head hitbox is bigger. Oh my god. You guys in your hitboxes. Guys. Look how big that hitbox is. <laughs> you guys can't be fucking real. It's like skin. It's supposed yeah. to look cool. Yeah, and then look at like athletic Kiriko. I don't know. I think I, that my that problem is so cool. I don't like any of the colors. That's my problem. I'm really? not a big fan of like any of the color schemes. I really like I think this maybe one. the gold is fine. I think the gold is fine, but like what? none of the colors like, like super stand out to me. That one is sick. It's okay, not that but one. I agree. The, it's uh, not the four? most flashy. Purpley, gray, white, like, bruh, it's so good. Yeah, that one. Oh my god. That was good. Although, to be fair, I don't use this game. It feels um, mythic to me. That's the ultimate proof, Jules. What yeah, do you I, use? I, I use, use the, the less FM one. Yeah, I, I, I use, use anti fragile. The, yeah, same, the, same. We all use anti fragile. None of us use this. Can you show, see, show can off anti fragile? You, it's one of the default ones. So, oh, there you go. That, that's the one I use, or the Ath. Leisure, athleisure one, the second one. Okay, yeah, athleisure is a little basic. That's but, good. Yeah. It's a basic, but it's cool. good. She has a jacket. It looks kind of cool. It looks pretty sweet. I quite like that one. I like. I think this one is sick. I like the beta master one. I don't know. I think the mythic skin obviously looks mythic compared to the legendaries. I think it yes. stands out. It's very different. It is a good skin. And it very has different. just don't use it. They're just such strong skins for for Kiri in general. I think that's the challenge here. Oh come on, it, the Lucerafim skin is not that good. Like what I is think this? It's pretty good. And then there's also really? the the K two thousand blade. What is, what is great fire. about this skin? All right, uh, this is the true hot take. I'm shitting on the Lucerafim skin. What's great? What, what is, what is great about this skin? That's why people like it. It's K pop, and it funded the game for another year. It funded the game for it. That's a W for the game. Uh, okay, although, the, the Kunai right, Jake is, Jake is the just Kunai, the, the, the ticket. That's what, uh, it what is it called? Uh, oh, the Ofuda. The Ofuda. <laughs> I get the tickets. So good, All actually. right, that's pretty cool. But like the skin itself, come on. Oh, dude, you're trolling, Johnny. I think you How should not be on the Blade this Master podcast is, anymore. The Blade Master is objectively right cooler. You're trolling. He's trolling. Look at I this. mean, Blade Master, I, I like Blade Master too, but... This is an, it's an I, RP they're, they're skin, right? You can't compete with the RP skins. That's sick, guys. Wow. I don't know. I, I, okay, I'm not K-pop pill. That first skin that got released with Kiriko, the one at the top, Solomon, don't like it. Don't like that skin at all. Hinatori? Yeah, I don't use this skin. I do not like that skin. I think it's very strange. The, the Terrible the, the, Tornado skin is really good, too. I like it on her. All oh, black. It's pretty good. It's very orange. All right, so rooting it back to the Mythic, guys. Yeah, okay. it is pretty. It is pretty good. If I don't directly compare it to like other skins, then it is a pretty strong. I think it's skin, awesome. I think. No, I think this is kind of low. I mean, what? I'm not a big fan of this. I mean, one I mean, all. not terrible, but I think it's at least like middle of the road. You know, it's, it's like it's a. Oh no, it's a B for me for sure. Yeah, it's got yeah, barely any effects, man. In my opinion. No, I when you do the oh, let's look at the effects. Like Hold on, before we make a final decision. decision. I can't like. Boom, look at that. Yeah, looks pretty. Ooh, looks pretty that is pretty sick. Sweet. The intro is, is nice. Okay, the, 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 if, the, if we're basing it on intros, then Aris is right up there, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you know, that gives a small point. I like the offers too, because they have little sparkly things behind them. I like that. The only, the only real, like, big change is the ultimate. The ultimate has, like, different gates in it. But aside from right. that, everything oh, else yeah. looks the same. Okay, Every right. other ability looks the same, and they could have done more, like... You know, with the with the both the tickets and also the Suzu. So yeah, I don't know. Go, uh, yeah, get the alt capture with the uh, thingy and see. Because I think with the with the kunai as well, when she's holding it like this, I think that's fucking awesome. It's got the OBS logo on it. <laughs> OBS logo. It's got the OBS logo. That's the only thing I can think of when I see that shit. It's the OBS logo. It's the only that's thing incredible. I can see. Oh my it's god, so that's the funniest it. shit. All right, here we go. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. That's the really only like thing that's good, though. Everything else cool. is just like, okay, no change. It's the no biggest change. part of the kit. Yeah, it's but so is Arissa's little sand thing. You know what I'm saying? If that's all the we're going on. The little sand thing? Dude, that shit's yeah. a dog. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I like it, but uh, I can see how this would also be a C. C, C max for me. E. I, I don't... B. A lot yeah, of I'm all right with the C, with honestly. One. I'm all right with the C. There's no way. The competition is just stiff, you know? It's a, it's no a fine way. skin. It's a fine skin, but. You don't think it's on par with Anna? It's just mid. It's just mid. It's on par with Anna for sure. It's... Okay, put Anna in C as well then. Fine. No, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm all right with B or C, honestly. I'm, I, 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 mean, I, I vote B. I vote B. Top B. 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 
All right. Bottom of Top oh, we're going B, we're going I'm, B. B. I'm down with A, I'm so let's go with B. B. All right. I really just want the tanks to, to, to show that tanks have gotten the worst mythics. But... All right. The JQ one is fire, though. The JQ one is yes. like, there's no, you can't consider any other JQ skin with this yeah. thing existing. The it's thing that the makes this skin one of the best is the fucking deep voice, like thundering, booming sound effect whenever she does anything. It's easily one of the coolest, like, voice skit like voiceover skins like she sounds like a god and like she is supposed to be like uh, and she talks about like olympus and shit it's fucking cool i think this skin is, you gotta, is top tier you gotta show the level four knife i think the knife alone makes the skin it's literally a lightning bolt yes it is yeah, it's, yes. it's just that oh awesome. my god it's cool it's, well. and you see it every time you melee skin. too when you yep. equip it and you melee you see it Cool as not only that, but on any version of the skin, when you throw the knife and it connects, a lightning bolt shoots down on yeah, the player. Yeah, yeah. The, I think the it's lightning really bolt strike when you knife people. Now, I like that. Lacks a little I'd, customization. I'd, oh. I'd be interested in your Look opinion on this one, but I, I actually think uh, there's a bit of skin maxing here because when you hit the knife, you get a knife confirmation via the VFX of the lightning bolt. So it's like super easy to see that you've actually hit the knife. I mean, you also get a hit marker. I would think that's a little more okay, easy. Okay, but though. the lightning bolt though. Let's be real. The lightning <laughs> no, bolt. I, I feel like I never would look at the lightning bolt while I'm actually playing. I look at the hit it's marker. It's just nice, guys. It's just nice. It's just like, hold, oh, yeah, hit so the knife. Cool. Lightning bolt comes down. It's nice. I love this skin. I think it's sick. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really good. The, the VFX for the voices are fucking awesome. I think the ultimate and the just like all of her abilities have like this sparky flare to them i think it's fucking the best combo is four two two one level four gun level two armor level two shoulder pad level one color and look at that little uh, thing I coming think. out of a gun too like boom boom oh it sounds different too the gun sounds different yeah, yeah the gun kind of has like... a nice base hit to it yeah, yeah i like it a lot it's really sick good skin yeah i mean this skin least, alone I makes you want to play jungle queen yeah i play a good. lot of jungle queen when i play tank yeah partially because of the skin partially because she's a deathmatch warlord but yeah, it's an awesome skin. I, I also it. think this skin highlights that even though it doesn't have a ton of like body armor customization, the fact that the weapons are so cool, and obviously weapons is the yeah. stuff you see the most, uh, that's bonus points. That's the bonus VFX points of right the weapons have to be good. You know, the sound, the, the punchiness of the gun, like that has to be what is the best. And the added effects of the knife is just makes it even better. Yeah. It's fucking sick. Yeah, if they made, if they gave the knife more like of, of a lightning VFX looking when you slash it across, That'd be even better. I think it would obviously be more work, but it would be make it even, the skin even better if they just sort of. The ult looks pretty sick too. Has to crack all the fizzle. When yeah. you when you ult, your ult is like all lightning. Yep. It's I'm awesome. going A. This yeah, is, this is an A tier skin. It's definitely A. It's definitely A. Minimum A. I say top of A. If okay. not S, yeah, it's it's it a close. Can't go S. It can't go S, but it's definitely A. Yeah, it, for me it might be S because there's so many little things that just add up to being a great skin, but it, it doesn't have enough customization for S. I feel. And it doesn't like S has like every ability as new VFX, so I think S is like kind yeah, of yeah. I guess the kind of the axe is pretty much the default on the skin. I mean, the, there's like they look different, but when you don't see the axe really when you're swinging it, and then so it just looks pretty much basic. Fucking cool. I guess you see a little, yeah, it's like a little bit different change, but it's pretty marginal. All right, we comes down to the last skin. We got a pretty even distribution here. I can guarantee that the Genji skin is not bad. But where does this the original OG skin. season one can go? I have a hot take. Oh, oh take? my god, oh, he's going to kick him from the Bring your hot take. I'm ready for this. It's not S. I know Jules wants S. This is not S. That's crazy. Is that a hot it's take? Not S. It's not S. It's Look at his face. Look at his reaction. His reaction confirms this the hot take. This is an S T. I think this is it's awesome. This is your skin. This oh is, my if not, maybe it's god. still the best. Compared, I will the say, Jake, is... your thought and color scheme. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it real cheap. Every single time I see you pick Genji in the game, I'm just like, this guy has. You no don't rock clue. this color scheme. This guy has no. Don't you rock number I rock one, number one blue. colors? Red and no, blue I'm for pink. Sure. I'm pink. Oh, you're I'm pink. Not... Okay, I take it. Yeah, back. yeah, I take yeah. It back. I'm this. Right, okay. I'm this color. Hold on, I'll give you my loadout. I'm this color. My loadout. Uh, if you go to the. Look at his shurikens. I'm like the ones that have like the little um like flowers on the shurikens. These shurikens. Yes. Um I I'm not the pattern, look at the patterns. I think do you have I the nipples use or not, Jake? pattern two. I think I use level two pattern. <laughs> yeah, do you have the nipples? And then the or not? face mask. Keep changing the face mask. I use this one. Yeah, I no, use the, oh, I cannot agree with the this face one, mask. The beast. No. I like the beast. Like I like the beast as well. I like the beast but as it well. is it is two, three, three, two. 
two, Jake, three, Jake, three. you don't use two. the nipples, do you? You, you? That's a fail. If you don't use that the nipples, goes. you failed. That's the color pattern is the best. The red color pattern is the best. You got to use the nipples. Uh, nipples. Red is okay. I like the pink and green. It just looks the sick pink when you blade. The green blade. is easily the second best for me. The like the level one color, I don't really like that much. The green, it turns like camo -y Dude, and shit. The blade looks so face. cool when you when you're pink though. The blade is so it nice. It's pretty pink. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I used to level it's one face. I don't use the level two one. I can't, oh, I can't do it with the, the teeth. So the, the teeth are too much. You don't like the, the beast teeth? I like the animal mask. This is this is my skin. This is exactly my skin. Oh, that the mask comes off? Uh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. His skin is so It's a reason they kicked over with this one. You don't think this is S tier, Avril. So this, yeah, this, I can tell you what. Me, I can this why. is you, like, you, uh, actually, yeah, this is S tier. You gotta yeah, let me explain. When you compare it to the Moira and the Mercy, it doesn't have many as many effects. The effects have leveled up so much. The problem is, yeah, that's true. is this is this is the first mythic. So obviously the standard is quite high, but also because the mythics have leveled up, especially the last two, now the Genji one feels dated in comparison. I would say if there was no Moira and no Mercy, this would be an S. But Moira and Mercy have really showed what you can do with mythic skins. And they've just pushed the boundaries way further than what they started with in season one. Wait, that's, hold on. What could they possibly do to make the Genji skin better? Uh, there's just not... Like, the right click sounds really default to me. There's no sound effect on the right click that's different. And the left click as well. You do see some, like, trailing on, on the shurikens flying forward. So that's kind of nice, I guess. But they could have done yeah, something I think the shurikens there. look pretty noticeably different, um, no? The yeah. deflect has no change. The deflect is, like, identical to default. And the deflect shift... The shift is, I think the dash is basically identical, but you have like, you have a, like a slight color difference and that's it. But it sounds identical. See, that's part no, of the issue They as make well. like, the on sound is the, more like digital or something. It's definitely different. Yeah. It's the just, sound the for sure is dash? different on the dash. On the yes, dash? yes, 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 yes. Hundo. Hundo percent. It's... Hundo percent. Let's see that blade, Tolman. Let's bring out the blade. It's similar, like but like minor. all the I can't effects like have a like a modifier Whoa. on them. It's so sick. The blade is decent. Similar the to how the blade is different. Sound effect. Oh, it yeah. is so good. Like when you compare this to the to the to the Moira and the Mercies and what those achieve. Okay, the one thing we have like at some point we got to do the trial for the Mercy. You'll see the difference. It's like, bro, the, the fact it's just so, on a, such a different level. When you look at the current S line, the Moira and Mercy is just they've leveled up so much compared to this. So this is like the next best skin. This is like the third best skin. This would be like top of A, easily top of A. But I just don't think it's on the same tier as... I just want to put Mercy Allo at the top. That's just me, but... I think the Mercy skin is I the best agree. I, I don't want to put Mercy on Tom because I don't want to let them win. But it is a good skin. <laughs> I do not want to let them win. This skin, for me, is like... This really set the bar, I think, for Mythic skins. And it continues to set the bar. Especially with the voice... Uh, voice. It's the same with Queen, actually. The voice is like deeper and darker and like techno-y. I also really like Cyberpunk as a theme. Like, it's my favorite theme of all time. So, like, for me, this is easily the best Mythic skin. Like, wow. straight up best. The best? I, really, I would say the best Mythic skin. It's it's on par again with Moira, I think, because the Eldritch Horror theme is kind of mm. sick. But, like, I think Genji as a character and, like, how much, like, he's got the blade. The shurikens are so different and shit. I, oh, man. I, the shurikens are okay. not different, bro. The I will say, I'm looking right now. I'm testing out the Mercy Mythic with the beam. Okay, the beam... Is, this might be better than the Genji skin. The beam is so it sick. Is there we go. It is there we go. I'm the beam you, is okay, I'm crazy. Up Have you seen the beam, Jag? No, I'm, I'm loading up. It's, this is a different... Solomon, Solomon got to bring up. Solomon has not tried out the Mercy skin in-game. You got to bring it up. I'm becoming a believer. I do not this damage them, boost is do like, oh win. my god, dude. Do not let them You got to do the tryout. You got to do the tryout. It's unbelievable. I just saw Jaws logging in. I watched the second Jaws has entered Overwatch 2. I just saw that. just saw that. Just heal and damage boost the training bots. That's all okay. you need to see. Oh okay. my okay. god. Okay, okay. Test your mercy mechanic. Look at that. Oh, and get, get longer range. This is the best skin of the game. Oh. Get longer. Oh, oh. yeah, damn it. Oh. <laughs> this is the best skin of the game. Do a res. Do a res. Let someone die. Do a res. Let someone it's die. So get the gun funny. out. Get the pistol out. Dude, oh, look at the blaster. Oh my god. Dude, the sound effect. You guys can't hear it, but the sound effect for the pistol is so clean. Okay, the beam Jake, is pretty cool. Pistol. Give us a pistol, rest. Jake. What? Blow the pistol, Jake. I have it out. I don't even mean me. Get, get the Valkyrie. Get the ultimate thing, Ultima. This is the best skin in the game. It is. That's what I'm telling you. Like, the, 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 the bar for Mythic has been raised. Josh, and it's been raised in. well above Genji right now. Give in. Get some healing going. 
I am. I'm fucking doing it right now. Oh. The damage boost is, is so elite on this skin, actually. Okay, the damage boost is cool as fuck. I will. I agree with that, actually. All right, so I feel like Genji is in the S tier, but maybe just not as good as this skin. The Mercy. Oh. Maybe, maybe we'll put Moira down to A. To be honest, I feel like Mercy is the best skin after seeing this beam. It is. I'm telling you it's the best. It's the sickest VFX we've ever seen in the game, I think, to be honest. I think especially when you hit all, that's actually kind of cool because it's like... It Your screen goes like away. dark for a second. <laughs> a parrot. Like, a chicken. <laughs> like a fucking parrot. <laughs> it does go kind of hard. Guys, I'm all right with this list. This list is kind of where... No. Okay. Uh, all right. I mean, you guys are three going to 3v1 me here. But, I mean, you know what? Fuck you guys. You think but... Genji's better than this? I've I think Genji's better because I, I prefer the cyberpunk theme, but sure. You're I mean, just a mercy he's hater, bro. He's also that, pill. yeah. I this this, this is also kind of cyberpunk, no? Ah, it I mean... kind of is. Well... <laughs> Not really. It reminds me more of like um uh like Warhammer y kind of universe, which is what Sigma also kinda of reminds me of. Is Warhammer like, not dude, Cyberpunk? No. Dude, Warhammer's like the a, wings grim, are it's gothic, gothic, like dark, futuristic. Gothic space horror. opera. Go in the go, yeah, go, in the, go in the shop yeah. again, show the wings. Show the look at the wings in the, the wings animation. Go crazy, it's different, dude. It's the wings are moving. This it's like this fire. You can't that emote flows, while Valking as Mercy, so I can't look at myself. The wings, in like, look specifically man. at the, the the animation of the wings moving and shit. So like lightning effects on it. Look at that shit. It's like flowing down. Holy fuck! Look at that. It's cool. It's pretty cool. Come on, that's just different, man. That that is this is the new standard for Mythic. This is now the best Mythic of the game. It is. I agree. The beam VFX are just so crazy. The like there's beam, never I been a VFX this crazy. Weird pretty wicked it's the equivalent of like an ult to like a not ult you know because <laughs> of how sick the vfx is <laughs> and you're right again this on the day winton 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 that is also, i need game. to get this where, where is in the battle pass the game. i need this shit 12. Oh, winton. Get i'm gonna have a winton on that day one every single day where i was gonna have a winton souvenir now on that um on that note i did see a tweet the other day that said the Overwatch like devs, they do this less than other companies where like they put memes and like community jokes in the game. They're starting to do it, which is cool, like with the whole Winton thing. But I've it, definitely with like lots of other games, I've noticed more like memes and like, oh, this community found this thing funny, or like some like old school RuneScape is actually a good kind of example of this one. Like Settled's like Swampletics thing, they put something in the game for him where you can like go see it and you can examine it and shit like that. I think. I think it's cool that they're starting to do that a lot more, like with the whole Winton thing, and actually naming it Winton was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I thought, it's a very small little comment there, but I thought it was a pretty neat, a pretty neat addition to the battle pass. Like actually looking at the community and saying, okay, we'll add that to the game because it's kind of funny and like everybody kind of knows what that's about. You know, I thought I thought that was really cool. So yeah, pretty cool thing, battle pass. Did we do a patch I guarantee? Jake's not here anyway. He's gone. Oh bro, patch I guarantee. Win. Win. Oh, Winton. Okay. Winton. Winton Overwatch. Winton Overwatch. Look at him. There now. it is. Love to see it. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they're like adding and shit like that from the communities. Um, but we're going to do the tier list pledge, I guarantee. With with the Winton and shot. Winton. Yeah. This is one of the greatest Overwatch merch items of all time. Yeah. So I'm proud it actually, online. Winton Overwatch became this trend for like non games accounts, even. I think like they, they were bringing up NBA? like the Brooklyn Nets or right. whatever. Like, what is about this? Overwatch. <laughs> Look at Johnny. <laughs> what the fuck? Johnny's leaving. This is great. I love it. Great, yeah, great good. job. I don't know. Well, I, I think we'll continue doing some tier lists here and there. Maybe we'll do uh, a soft yeah, like map tier list right. next. Who knows? You gotta do it. You gotta do tier lists of all the tier lists we've done. Yeah, we need some more tier lists <laughs> for that though. Because I know we got C9. Um, I, I know we've done maps. Tier lists of tier lists. We don't have tier a few tier lists. Tier maybe we maybe we should get a plat chat uh, member tier list going. I don't know. How do you remember oh. tier? Oh shit, that would not okay. go well. I'm just saying that's a five-hour episode that I do not want to be part of. I don't think anyone wants to be part of that. Ain't no one leaving that. No one wants to be part of that. All right. That was uh, fun times over. Let's uh, jump into some of the season 10 stuff. Uh, you know, obviously they wrote a new patch. Uh, I forgot to put the patch notes in there. And, you know, maybe we can talk a bit about the patch notes. But there weren't, like, any huge patch notes thing in there. Um, I think the Wrecking I mean, Ball changes are really exciting. Like yeah. a huge yeah. increase to the skill ceiling in the hero. It's too soon to tell whether it's going to matter. But I think it's a very cool change. Exactly the type of change I want to see more of. Yeah. Do you think it actually uh, will make Breaking Ball meta, in a sense, with the adaptive shield? No, not meta, but but maybe maybe okay, like maybe playable. I think he's pretty untouchable right now, and so he could be maybe playable. 
So uh, the actual adaptive shield change, and I think we covered this last week, is can it be reactivated to redistribute up to 300 over health to nearby allies, capping at 75 per person, enemy and ally detection radius increased from 10 to 13 meters. So uh, it's a wider range to get uh, adaptive shields, and then you kind of like unleash it onto your teammates, get 75 each. So I don't know. Yeah, my take kind of is that like there's so many things that count the wrecking ball in the game. Even if it's just like a sombra or like a you know trace or whatever, like it's so easy to deal with a wrecking ball. I, I just don't see how wrecking ball sees a lot of play time. There's only a few maps where wrecking ball is really useful as well. Can't play it everywhere. Winston just seems like a better uh, character if, if you want to spend time practicing it and get good use out of it. I, I well, don't see like a hard wrecking ball meta. The, what the problem what are the is ball main doesn't thing? stop you from doing your skills like normal. The only issue is if you're like at a certain rank, you will because people miss their shots and they get booped around. But if people like aren't missing when wrecking ball boops them, then it's like, well, he stops being that effective. Other than being a deathmatch hero that like dominates everything in the game 1v1 and can get to you anywhere on the map. But like in the end, he's a tank. So like not, not having a crew front line is really painful. And I wonder about the adaptive shield. It could be interesting, but I could also see it being bad because I think the real way to play ball is like a um, highly like high damage output heroes that like follow up really well on Wrecking Ball. But I don't know if it's like running in right next to Wrecking Ball. You know, I guess some heroes might do that. And like giving Tracer 75 shield is probably crazy, but I don't know. It seems a little weird. I feel like on a Zen ball is like sort of like the strongest ball comp historically. Seems okay. I mean, I don't know if it'd be Vendo because he's so vulnerable to like getting perma sombra kind of deal, but it seems like a pretty good change because I know a lot of people. I say I know a lot of people. I don't, but people were complaining for a long time that Wrecking Ball was like, it's not a team fight hero, and why no tank team fight? And we lose because our tank is ball and he in backline and he only try and slam and kill. Like, but I think that's just the design of the hero and that's how it should be. So I think it's good that they've added some sort of like team element and play here. Will he be better? Not sure. In solo queue, he's better. <laughs> it's, that's for fucking sure. Because um, getting in into the back line and then like uh, having your tracer kind of follow up and then giving, giving a shield. I mean, these are like all that. buffs, so he will be better. The yeah. question is, yeah. is he good enough? No, I don't think but so. But this is a lot of flexibility. I think it'll take time for people to like really learn the new flaw potential and how to get the yeah. most out of the shield. So I think we won't know right away after the patch. It'll take some time before this, the full power of this is really realized. Also, yeah. what kind of, like, did they up the mine health specifically for Venture, I wonder? For no, it's AOE? for Seismic like, Slam. Seismic why? Slam. Doing for oh, Seismic for slam, slam is 50 damage. Oh, so you couldn't slam enemy ball mines and then in, they... Yeah, you just use a regular ability. You could ability whole and with one slam. Oh, yeah. okay, that makes sense. I didn't know that. I thought, I thought the, uh, yeah, I thought that would still do enough, but all right. Yeah, it's nice. so it's actually quite significant because if you play versus a Doomfist yeah. and they just seismic slam your mines, you're like, cool. Yeah, thanks. it's kind of cringe, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I was going to say, because that's a really weird change otherwise, but yeah, that makes a. That's good for ball. Really good for the mines. Because mines kind of. They're, they're not the best ultimate in the game. That can be fucking annoying. And if it's a good ball player, you get rolled by mines. But like, in general, a lot of people are so good at like dodging out the way or like preemptive in, preemptively like moving because you know the ball is going to fucking slam mines or mine slam or whatever um yeah i'm not sure he's going to be better in pro play though i, I, I don't know uh, maybe yeah, they should just increase the knock back so like when you knock someone back you like fucking no. they just fly no. no 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 we are stepping the, away from that that's we are literally, literally, you're adding back in time, cc bro <laughs> that's so like dog shit that's a dog shit I, what, what do you mean best strength is that he does boop really well but i think i think the biggest problem for ball is just that it's too easy to counter everything he does like it's it not is. that what he does mm -hmm. isn't yeah. strong enough it's that if you're a very good player on brig ball can never touch you like he can't touch you it's over for him like he can't play you know and like you are like an immovable object on certain heroes. Like Brig is, a, I think Brig's the ultimate hard counter. But even Lucio, getting booped on Wrecking yeah, Ball boop. ruins your game. Like your game is over when you get yeah. booped one time, and you you were setting up a perfect roll at the perfect time to slam and kill them all, and then you got booped and you failed and you took three hundred. There's damage. a lot of boops from support. It's so bad. Even Alari's outburst too, because I was yeah. playing Alari today. I, by the way, I don't know if Alari's good. But she feels fucking fantastic right now. I don't know why, but like, I've been playing a lot of a few Alari. changes to Alari. Um, yeah, I was like, mm, I'm seeing a lot of other people play Alari. So I was like, uh, jumping in and playing some. She's actually really fun. I think I've won all my games so far with her. But um, her her outburst, like, even that fucks ball. I was against a ball today. Every time he fucking swing, oh, outburst. Every time, oh, outburst. It's just so, it's so fucking easy to disrupt the ball. Like, um, is there like a more meta point as well about Wrecking Ball? Um, 
I think this is good. <laughs> I think it's good that Wrecking Ball is not going to be perma meta. If uh, he's one of the heroes that is on my list of like, if this hero is perma meta, the game is probably not in a state where you want to play ever as a support player ever. Uh, so like, I think he's a hero. If he's too OP, then he becomes ridiculously oppressive and it makes the game a little bit unfun for everybody. But if he's like underpowered, um, or like at least in the state now where he's pickable and these are buffs, these are really good stuff. And like, obviously all the ball mains are going to be able to do new tech with a fucking grapple and shit like that. Um, and more of a unique hero that is circumstantial or like one trickable, um, I think is a good thing. And I think, all right, I'm I think ball I'm has already always been there. And I think if they continue to make him that and expand the hero in terms of like mechanically, I think it's cool. I'm going to have a hot take, Joss. I have a hot okay. take. I think it's good for Overwatch if Wrecking Ball is playable in the pro meta because Wrecking Ball is such a cool yeah. and unique character that if Wrecking Ball actually becomes the best pick on say something like New Queen Street or something, I think that's great. So okay. Toronto There's Defiant, someone has been there. practicing Wrecking Ball. They they tried Wrecking Ball like a lot in the scrims in case this turned out to be the meta just to get some practice on the hero. I think that's sick. So, because it is one of the, those heroes as well that has a really high skill ceiling, it is yeah. really hard to become a, you know, a, a fantastic Wrecking Ball player. A bit like Tracer in that regard, except the Tracer is just, you know, like super useful. But I want to get to the point where if you have a Re Wrecking Ball in your hero kit as a tank, that's actually useful for your team. I don't want Wrecking Ball to be hard mm -hmm. meta. I, want, I don't want team to force Wrecking Ball on freaking King's Row or anything. Yeah. But for open maps where it makes sense, I want Wrecking Ball to be playable in a competitive sense. Yeah, I, because I, I think I it's a really cool agree. hero, and if you can yeah. showcase this hero on broadcast, I think that's good for the esport in the game. We, yeah, we do like get... There are and metas, and we've Rangers. had them previously, where Rangers. if a hero is hard meta, it makes the game fucking more. Orisa, Malga, makes the game fucking more. And if Ball was in the same thing where it's like you have to play ball every single map it would be dog like the meta would not almost be can't be hard meta unless they do something really absurd in terms of stats. oh well, yeah that's why like, yeah that's exactly he's what i'm so saying map like specific as a hero it's yeah. hard to and that's good him that's really good that is where the hero that hero like because it is such a specific kit and it has such a high skill ceiling that is where it, uh, the character needs to be it's mm. like map specific or like team specific like, oh, we're a Wrecking Ball team. We just love playing Wrecking Ball, like, where we kind of can, or, like, we prefer Wrecking Ball over, like, Monkey. Like, I think that's a really good thing. And it's, that it inherently is it healthy for the game because also it makes pro play really fun, too, because then we're not seeing mirrors every fucking week. So, yeah, I think I think this is a really good change for Ball overall. And I think as long as he's not perma meta, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. It's cool. Cool change, in, in a way. Looking forward to see how it gets used. Um, I think everyone... You know, I, I was really concerned, like, when I heard about this, because I, I just immediately went to, like, worst case Jotes example. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, no, they're going to buff know. the Tracers and the Genjis and make them super strong. And like, well, but, you know, when, when thinking about it longer, I mean, Wrecking Ball as a hero is just so weak that, yeah, I don't, I don't, th I don't think Wrecking Ball will see use. But it is scary when, whenever you give characters like Tracer health and stuff like that. So minor Tracer change here as well. The cooldown increased on the recall and the uh, Pulse Bomb base projectile size decreased as well so it's harder to uh to hit your pulse bomb here as well don't no, nothing too big um i think they're trying to um you know just try to balance tracer a little bit i don't know if jake has any comments at all but i yeah. yeah i i think it's i think it's um i don't i didn't not want to see a huge nerf i think she deserves maybe like a small nerf but i mean i want to see tracer like i like tracer metas i you know i think tracer's a hero that is you know, when she's in meta, it's probably like a good thing. Like I think, uh, generally speaking, you know, it's healthy for the game to have Trace to be uh, a popular and powerful hero, but powerful in obviously the right hands, which she is. So this is fine. I didn't, I didn't think that they were going to go this direction for some reason. I was pretty sure they were going to go and nerf damage, like like do They've another tried that so many five. times though. Yeah, I know, but I feel like I th or, or range. We're going to touch range again, like make the range smaller or something like that. But um. I think nerfing pulse bomb is really good. That ult is way too good. Like, it's way, strong way, ult. Way, way too good. It is painful. Like, is this, like a, is this a big ult? ult? Is this like sorry? Is this like a big nerf to the ult though? Like I don't know. Like the projectiles. Again. I guess it's right. like half the size. Point one. So it went from like half the size to point two five. So a little bit less than not a fifty percent nerf, but I mean this is a really big deal for like consistency of sticks, especially hard sticks where you're like turning a lot. I, I don't know. I, I think tracer in general has just. The ult is too strong, actually. Or or uh, the, the ult is... The problem with it is supposed to, like... You're supposed to miss most of the time. 
um, for like average players, but then you reach a certain level and people just start hitting like higher and higher percentages of the. Balls. But I think they deserve to hit if they like good enough to hit. I think they deserve to hit. Like that's just... yeah. But you have to think. I mean, this is like bringing it back to more like what it was before season nine, where like, I mean, what do you you know deserve is relative, right? Like maybe the other guy dodged suppose... well, but you would just hit because it was close enough, you know. And so I think for an ult as powerful as pulse bomb, I think it's a very good thing to nerf on the hero, uh, uh, rather than other aspects of the kit. And I think the recall nerf is like. Sure, it's fine. Just slight decrease on her uptime. Get a little bit more punished for using recall. You know, I think that's good. It's yeah. hard to change Tracer too much because she's so probably terrible for like 80% of the player base. Honestly, she's probably mm -hmm. just not a good hero. Um, because she's just not straightforward. She doesn't stand in front, shoot her gun. Like almost like I think 80 to 90% of the player base basically plays the same way on every hero, which is to say like stand with your team and shoot at the enemy. And Tracer's just not that good at that specific thing, but she just has a play style that once you unlock it and you understand how to play this playstyle, it's just the best hero in the game, um, mm -hmm. at least on DPS, not even close. And so I think this hero, these are like, they're trying to address that, I feel. They're trying to address some of her top end potential without destroying her for casual players who, you know, maybe already she isn't that good. Yeah, good enough. Yep. Needed to be touched, but didn't touch blinks, didn't touch damage. It's great. Jake Ooh, has spoken. Shot. All right. I quickly uh, want to go over the tank changes a little bit here because uh, there's a few. Um, the Doomfist received a change, so uh, the Empowered Punch is no longer consumed when the windup is cancelled. So, a bit of a bug fix, almost quality of life. Jungle Queen received some increased Carnage damage. My take is actually that I want to see a rec rec uh, reduced like channel time for Carnage. I think the windup is so long for Carnage, where like you, you bring out the axe, and it's a big axe, but like, whoom, like it just takes forever to swing that bad boy like i want to lower that a little bit uh just reduce the time make her too swinging. strong I mean, that's, no, part, of the, the, that's part of the balancing right how, how good that skill is that it's not it's a telegraph skill you know well, I'd rather it's so have insane that you get the and... cooldown back for hitting it like that's really a huge deal no no reduce the reduce the wind of time it's quality of life change and that also a lot character. more than a quality of life change. that is like a it's massive to play the character. It's, a buff. it's an actual buff to the character yeah, because because no that 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 it also takes away counterplay because there's so much counterplay to Queen, which is like you boop her away when she tries to act, or you stun her when she tries to act. Yeah, you always that's like a, that's right. like a lot of matchups against Queen. That's pretty much the most important thing is that you're Lucio, you're booping the the Queen when she presses the axe. Sigma, you're trying to rock her when she presses the axe. Arissa, Doom, they're all trying to like break this cooldown because it's so powerful, and that makes those matchups good for those heroes. But if you couldn't do that anymore, that would like really change a lot of those matchups. Dude, mark my words. Mark my words, Jake. They, they, they will reduce the wind-up time. I promise you, in a f future iteration, they will do that in the game. All right. I, I, I think if they do, I mean, I'll be happy because I'll just spam Junker Queen, but I think that's like a bad change. It's like, it's good to have counterplay on your skills. It's a very powerful skill that has a huge reward to Junker Queen if you can hit multiple players. It needs counterplay. It's like a critical skill to have counterplay. On, I think. Yeah, I, I agree with that, actually. All right. I'm alone in that then. Oh, well. Yes, well, you are. something we hopefully can't be alone on is that what the fuck is going on with Reinhardt, guys? I, this is the fucking Heroes change to make it to Reinhardt. What do you mean? Earth Shatter knockdown duration increased from 275 to 3 seconds. Shockwave range increased from 20 to 25. Oh, cool, guys. This is sick right here. But can we not make a fucking Reinhardt rework happen? Can we not be a little bit more creative here in making Reinhardt actually viable and not be the worst tank in the entire game? I swear, I see Roadhogs in ranked have a higher win rate than, than, than run Reinhardt. Reinhardt is literally the worst tank in the game it is so freaking bad dude What's and they the just buffed the earth shatter change dude yeah, i don't care way. go crazy with reinhardt make him st silly stupid strong i don't give care him two just, just give him two hammers just something dude please save time. us reinhardt players are miserable unless you're cloudy you're just straight up throwing games it's such a bad hero guys we are desperate it's been derpy. so long like for the love of god please and i don't care if Hardy and Cloudy has the occasional good games, this is a cry for help from all the Rhino players. Please make our character viable again. It's actually good for the game too. It's not even one of those examples where it's like a toxic hero or whatever. This is genuinely... You if you had to make a straw poll between Reinhardt, Orisa, Ramatra, and whomever, Reinhardt is the best hero for the game. The healthiest state for the game. They're much rather than Orisa. Some, Orisa is so stupid. Ramatra is so yeah. still, it's silly. I'm surprised Just stand on card. Nerfed, Th those, yeah. those heroes are so stupid and bad for the game. Yeah. I genuinely don't like Orisa and Ramatra. I think they're so bad for the game. Reinhardt, innocent guy. He has a shield. He can walk is up. He has a hammer, melee range. He has a pin. That's an actual skill shot plus 
us, you get punished for using the charge. Like, this is such a good character for the game. And they've just left Reinhardt in the dirt. He's just been fucking... He's just so hamstrung. It's actually so sad. I just can't believe uh, that they're not doing anything to help Reinhardt out. Well, I think they probably are working on some sort of rework. It's just... I think reworks just take a lot of time, right? They have to yeah. think really hard about what they want to do without killing the identity of the character. So, yeah, the, it's probably on the radar. It's the most memeable thing to say on the radar, guys, but I'm pretty sure it is on the radar, so... Because uh, there's no way, not for the You smash. inspire Reinhardt no confidence so... in Yarrow. Reinhardt is I, I agree, I think Ryan, Ryan needs a buff. Game. I don't know about a rework. I think it depends on the scope of the change. I don't want Reworks to, Reinhardt can be to be reworked. Reworks I can love be his skills. I love his kit. That's I love like a hog-style rework where you... Give him some new skills. Or I don't know if he needs. I think yeah. he just needs like a slightly higher MS when he's shielding. I think that'd probably be a huge buff. That'd be great. Movement speed when shielding, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. I, th I think he needs some kind of like flexibility. I mean, I think that in the end, though, the biggest problem with Ryan is he just doesn't output stats for your team. He just but, like holds shield, and holding shield is like it's okay, but it's a lot better to shoot. Fire uh, strike kind of sucks. I think that's probably part of the problem. I have an issue with speed, move, movement speed while walking with the um, shield. It's the same as Junker Queen reducing the swing time. It's your removing counterplay. The counterplay to Ryan is that he can't just, he's a melee hero. For him to close the gap on you, he either has to drop shield and, and walk at you or charge at you, which leaves him vulnerable. Or if you've got the shield up, you can't do anything against him. He's just slow walking at you, but he's slow. If he starts walking fast with the shield, you just like what, I mean, what's the counterplay? I mean, he I don't just, think like, it needs you can't to be like hundred percent MS, but like I think it's like sixty or something now. It could be sixty-five or seventy. You know, it's a margin. Give him a little something. Right. Yeah. I just think like I just think shooting him in that direction is maybe dangerous for the game. I would you can prefer still other, 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 other doing areas. damage or CC him or whatever. Yeah, but then he gets in range. The point is, there's a cost to getting in range for Ryan. I think that's like a that's a you need to maintain that. Okay, cost. I got a crazy I mean, Ra 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 Reinhardt you know, bias idea. Zero, but give him unbreakable during charge. No. Uh, no. No. That's Come, on. Good. Come on, that's guys. You are dumb. Come on. You are dumb. <laughs> Come on. Walking when Jake. shielding increase the movement speed and also unbreakable when charging. Come on. It's that only fair. Why does Malga nice. get unbreakable? Why don't we get unbreakable? We're right on the Malga doesn't have a shield. Malga has no defense. What? No, he just has infinite healing. Uh, not infinite healing, but like Jake he is one, muted. I love this version of the stream when Jake is muted. <laughs> I'm, I'm screaming because, because the Malga run doesn't one shot you. Oh my god. That's true. No, no, that no, no, it's so big. It's so no, big. It doesn't one shot you. It doesn't reposition you. The, the pin, pin is useless. Increase the damage. Make, you can't one shot anymore. The pin is useless. Pin is not useless. Pin is such a good skill. If it was unbreakable, it might be one of the best skills in the game. You can't, you can't, you can't one shot people anymore. Oh, it's so bad, man. Oh, it's you can one shot, you can one shot normal characters. You can't one shot like. Crazy. Guys, oh, we're thanks. talking about the worst character in the game, and I you're mean, not giving I know me Ryan anything sucks, but, besides but giving walking him an unbreakable on pin is one of the that's so bad. You, you mean like that fortify, way, right? Yeah. Like no, no stun. No, yeah. Like, what are you yeah, gonna you, do? You you can't even shatter the enemy Ryan when he pins at you. Like, like it's actually need, absurd. You can make an exception. You can make an exception. Make an exception. Only Ryan can stun. Only Ryan exactly. can hit other Ryans in pin. That's or like, what if you Doom punches him? You don't fall down because you're you're unbreakable. I don't, it's it's really important that skill. All the all the skills that make you knock down all have the same counter. I don't know. They probably have a small rework on the way. They gotta be because that hero sucks. Like yep. he's such a throw pick. Like Ram does whatever he does, but like fucking infinitely better. <laughs> he can put up a shield and fucking throw punches. Ram and Arisa you know are actually so bad for the game. Shit. I genuinely hate I those characters. I disagree with the Ram point, but I agree with the Arisa point. You know why Ram is just better? Because it shows how dated the Ryan design is. Like for all these, like not even Overwatch One heroes, but like super early Overwatch One heroes like Ryan. They just feel dated now. They feel like the design is just, you know, from a very long time ago, super yeah, basic. Yeah, but it's design. like Winston. It's like it doesn't need to be complicated. It's simple but very effective. It's beautiful. You know why Winston is? I think Winston's skill ceiling comes from the mobility and the ultimate, whereas that expression is not apparent in Ryan. Yeah. So that's the big difference. In my well, day, it came from the mobility of charge. And Winston has been massively reworked to have a hit scan. I mean, you shouldn't underestimate how much that changes with him. That's a huge, huge change. Right click, yeah. Yeah. You're not AFK when you're poking. Ryan throws fire strikes, which is great, but it's so situational to even use that skill. Like, it's one of the only skills you have two cooldowns, but you can't really just throw it. Like, you need to, like, wait for a corner. The enemy's trying to come around the corner. They don't see the fire. It's like, if enemy sees it coming, it's so easy to dodge, you know? So I, I feel like fire strikes I, I got a solution. big issue here. Like two fire strikes, but well, they both useless. So 
Here we go. Here we go. Here. This is the rework. Okay, here we go. Platchet certified rework. Move the fire strike to the to. I was gonna say the right click, but then what do you do with the shield? Maybe okay. Basically, move the fire strike to to make it like the make Winston melee. right click. Make it like the oh, not melee, but make it like <laughs> the Winston right strike. click, so that you can use the fire strike more often. But maybe you have to charge it up like Winston. Basically, I'm just like give give Reinhardt the Winston right click, but it's the fire strike is what I'm saying. Mine um in the PVE, if you guys remember, had the fire strike on left click. Do you remember that when you picked it up in the PVE? And then you were left clicking really? and then it sent out fire strikes. Yeah. I remember me, Johnny, and Scott, and Jake, I think, played the PVE where that I happened. That. It was on Hol what? not uh it was on Blizzard World. It was one of the PVE modes where you could upgrade your skills. And it we were but we were I know we it. I know we, we got the world the first, but I can't remember. No, not that, that one. Not that not that one. It was it like was a oh, okay. It was yeah, but what I remember I was four playing and yeah, I remember um, a PvE on Blizzard World. And then Ryan swung and then fire strikes came out when you swung, when you got the upgrade. And I you know, maybe you do that. What the fuck <laughs> Dude, was that? So was wildly this? broken. I <laughs> never heard about this. When did they do this? I've More never seen it. Fire strike for the people. Really? It was I mean, just some like secret play test you this did. Might be, this might public? be some dream you had, Jack, but um yeah. No, it was a PvE mode, like where me, you, Johnny, and Scott played. Was this ever public though? This sounds like a No, it was a fucking PvE test. mode. It was just some bullshit PvE mode that they released at one point. Yeah, it might have been. I mean I've, look, it's been I've nine years. The PvE, it, there's been a lot years. of PvE over the years. I don't remember them <laughs> yeah, all. Were they, you were upgrade am I fucking going it's crazy? It's been a lot of weird shit. I've never Dude, seen this what? before and I've i I feel well, like maybe I'm misremembering it wasn't Ryan, maybe it was someone else. No one Dude, else is right. Can we move on? Yeah, we're we'll moving on. Regardless, yeah. I think Ryan I needs a little love, but he didn't. He got a little bit in this patch, but it's pretty minor. Shatter is not all that good. Although the range on Shatter, pretty big deal. I think that, I think that is actually pretty sick. Pretty big deal, his ass. Get the fuck I out mean, of here. Pretty 20 big to deal. Twenty-five deal. meters. It's kind of pretty a big deal. My range. ass. No? It's still the worst tank of the game. Yeah, it's still dark. Probably, tank, yeah. <laughs> Like, Until he's really not the worst, but Sorry. Until he's better than Ramatra, I won't give in. I okay. won't give in. Johnny, Johnny, back to the Arisa mines for you. Get mining. Dude, I, I, I genuinely hate that I queue up in, in, in Overwatch 2 so often, and I find myself that oh, Ramatra and Arisa is the best picks here. I, I hate it. I, 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 I have to pick those heroes so often for my team, and I just hate the picks. So I have to play something suboptimal. No, oh, it's I am it's so, so surprised toxic. Arisa doesn't get any nerf this patch. I really thought Arisa was gonna get some kind of nerf. Like anything. Yeah, it's 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 a stupid hero. You can mitigate so much damage. It's so much health. Like literally a hero that's really not worth shooting no unless they use both abilities. No headshotting on Fortify is 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 bad. I think it's like a bad design. It's like that's like the definition of removing counterplay. You don't get punished for for Wing in when you're gold. You just can't die. I don't know. Which I guess I <clears throat> I can understand in one sense, but I'd rather her have power somewhere else on the game, even if you want to play nerfer. I've literally just become a Winston player. I I'm happy for all the, the for all the off tank players out there who play like Doomfist and you know you get to play all the fun heroes. I I can't play Doomfist, so all I do is literally just play Winston all the time. Why you learn Doomfist. It's not that hard. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I I try here and there. Hey, for Jack's course, so you can learn Doom first. What the fuck you say? Doom, Doom I, I is play not that Doom bad. There. Doom overrated how hard it is, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not it's not as, uh, as hard kills, as it used to be. Get but... shield, bait them to shoot your 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 block for power punch, rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What makes the hero hard is you have to hit headshots with left click to be real. That's like the only hard thing about the hero is aim. Because it's yeah. an aim hero. They, that most that is true. If you can land the if you can land the projectile, the, the primary fire, that's real good for yeah. you. But we Landing we gotta headshots move on. on people you punch or, or slam and follow up headshot them really, really fast. Yeah. That's let's uh is. let's let's move on to our favorite topic, which is oh. uh life we were getting straight oh. healing buffs. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> zero needs more stats actually. More stats, oh more God. stats for Life Weaver. Uh, okay. I, we Only we pain. will. This is like Torb back in Overwatch One. Eventually, we'll just hit the patch where Life Weaver is like the I strongest mean, hero in the game. That's the thing. Eventually, it'll be good if you keep buffing the stats. It I, I, genuinely there was a meta where Life Weaver was almost meta in Overwatch League. Yeah, when I say it was Rack before was playoffs, it, right? There was a meta was where where. Yeah. It was like on a life weaver dive, basically. Yeah. So I think and I think life weaver genuinely in dive. I mean, having like brig packs on your left click is pretty pretty sick. The tree just really sucks. I think the biggest problem with the tree is that it's stationary, but it obviously it sort of has to be, but it's just so non-functional for most scenarios, other than like overtime contests and stuff, which I guess maybe that's good enough. I don't know. Life weaver is just a weird hero. It shouldn't be good. So like what are we doing? 
Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm actually, I've sort of come around to life. We were, I'm okay with the hero in the end. I, I just think, I wish it had more interaction with the enemy. Same as Mercy. I think both those heroes need more enemy interaction. Something yeah. to do to enemy. Mess them Maybe. Up. I guess you can pedal up certain people in certain spots, like mess them up. Like the hero is just so team reliant in a game that has almost zero team play at almost every single rank. So I don't know. It's it's fun. I think the hero is very unique in a way, and I think it I mean, should be It's just the Omega meta. healer. I think if people understand yeah. that what you need to play with Life Weaver is just big damage on every other hero, then Life Weaver can actually be really strong. Because if if you're just playing a lot of healing and then you play Life Weaver, your comp is like guaranteed to be terrible. But if you have big damage coming from the other four heroes, this hero is pretty damage. legit. Like it's pretty legit. Like to be especially, I mean, obviously not pro level. There's big flaws with it. But like up to let's say masters, I think this hero is probably pretty strong as long as the rest of the team comp is all damage. And I guess that's the problem of having a hero that is like even more than Mercy, because Mercy is mostly healing, right? But she can also be damaged if she, if that's relevant. Like, as soon as you're done healing everybody, you start damage boosting. It's, like, very basic. But Life Weaver <laughs> is, like, you need though, the comp you? with Life Weaver to provide the damage that Life Weaver does not provide. And that means certain heroes are, like, not viable to play with Life Weaver, um, from my perspective. And I think that's kind of, like, that's kind of, like, the problem with the hero is that it's so one-dimensionally focused on on healing that it forces your teammates to pick around you. Which I don't love. Like that's probably the biggest. Issue. So I would love to have more damage on the hero somehow, or, or, yeah. or like let me shoot with no penalty, shooting my left click with no penalty. Maybe you can dual wield. Like let me shoot while healing. Like honestly, I think that's fine. Like that'd be kind of that's <laughs> that a really good, interesting uh, way of having the hero. That would be fucking. Like, but I just I hate this like infinite heals forever. Eventually it will be good, but people casual players won't understand what makes the hero good, which is to say that they don't understand that you need certain picks to enable the life weaver. To make only healing good, we need heroes who do only damage or do a lot of damage, which is just, I, I become, I'm, I'm more against heroes that have like a required combo heroes. I guess that's part of the problem for Ryan is that he like basically needs Lucio, like basically unplayable without Lucio um, or Sim or May. Like these certain, there's like a small number of heroes that make the hero good. And I think that's kind yeah. of the, with a lot of, um, a lot of heroes in the game, that's sort of a flaw in their design. If, if they can only function with one of, Three to five heroes as a combination it's it's a huge problem yeah way buff but whatever i'm not yeah. too fast it doesn't uh, make him better so lucio got a slight change you never know when it's over the line you really that's don't true. uh lucio got a slight uh slight damage projectile decrease from 20 to 18. it's a big deal slows down your old farm yeah 10 percent slower ults roughly maybe eight percent with the boot buff which is good i think people uh, this was needed <laughs> I think yeah, yeah. Lucio I like, has been terrible. Talking to like Astro and Master nine. about it, like how much damage you can do, and like he's just DPS, and you just kind of fling Cheerios, and you're almost guaranteed to hit because they're so fucking large. It's good. Hey, this it's a good thing. One you D1 shouldn't DPS. be almost lapping your damage dealers uh, yeah. for damage as Lucio. It's... That does not make sense. Even though the gun is very unique in the way it operates, and uh, it's one of the most unique guns in the game, if not the most unique. Um, but yeah, I think it's probably a good idea that he's not doing as much damage. I didn't. Hear, I, I pers I'm not like a crazy good Lucio. It's like one of my worst supports, but like definitely felt a little bit like oh, I'm doing a little bit less damage, but nothing for me at least, which is crazy. But just uh, just in general, just for the annoying fucking spam, it's good. <laughs> Shit's an, uh, I don't even bad. know if they needed to give the um the the sound the sound wave a yeah, buff here. I don't know. If I mean, necessary, but I think strange, it's pretty yeah. minor. It's pretty minor. Yeah, you still have a good can. chance to fight off flankers. Like heroes who who you can realistically boop, you're still going to be good against. Mm -hmm. What's the like Alara change? The spamming that's especially low. Uh, because okay, yeah, primary increased slight nerf. Yeah, and then wow. secondary heal increased. Okay, so your primary fire is nerfed, but your secondary fire is buffed slightly. Which is kind of cool. Like I said, I don't know. I was playing. Maybe it's just me playing around with it but like there's a lot of alaris in my games for now for some reason i was like oh fuck it i'll pick her she i think honestly even though she's not like insane like super good has to be picked or like it is up there in terms of um like faf or like curia or whatever she is fun as fuck like oh my god i don't know what it is about me and deployables but i just love deployables i'm like i'm gonna love them to kill for your build it user I Dude, I just love it. I just love the little torp turret. And then I love finding like fucking weird places to put pylon where like there's a bit of the texture where it's like this, but it's such a like a weird up bit that you can put the pylon like horizontally so you can hardly fucking see it, but it still heals everybody. 
I, I really enjoy the creativity with the pylon placement is a lot of fun. Like having it to build is, yeah. anywhere like that it. reminds me of Sim. I think that's one and of the she's fun parts of Sim. Very satisfying to hit people with. Like just the it, it feels a little bit like Halo to me where, with the battle rifle because it's like da 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 da. It's like paste. Away. It's like BAP. Oh, BAP's got exactly the same weapon. Funnily enough, but like it's just really paste. You're like headshot. You know, body shot. Body. Yeah, there's a nice slow. You get to aim every shot. Yeah, so it feels nice. To like. To like re-aim because the shots are so slow she's not great but she's really fucking fun and um i wish she was a little bit stronger but for now i'm i'm winning games of her still so like i don't really care I, that i much. like that they buff the right click heal i enjoyed tracking yeah. people with the heel when they're like tracking moving fast fun. it's fun yeah. it's like a good challenge because there's no aim assist on the heel yeah um which is like she's, she's definitely know. not good now but like she's definitely better than she was i thought she'd be if... meta but i think she's pretty good in the sense that she's like definitely going to be playable in certain comps certain maps yeah I think she's a she hero. seems like a. It seems like the direction they're trying to take with the balance here is to turn her into more of a healer and less of a damage dealer with this exact change. So, just kind of weird because the pylon is the majority of your healing. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the change. It's a cool change. I think it's a cool change. Yeah, sure. More healing with the right click. Yeah, sometimes when your pylon's down, it always felt like, oh fuck, I'm you. We're actually screwed. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's with a Lari, you like. I always pick a Lari when we have like a Kiri, a Moira, or a Baff or some shit. Because if we have just a Lucio, I'm like, we're going to lose. <laughs> I do not yeah, have enough healing. Yeah, you need healing. somebody who can handle the heals on their own. Exactly. You like, you just don't have enough healing. If someone picks Lucio instantly, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play Kiri or like Moira or some shit. But like, if the, if we're playing, I had a game of Blizzard World today where I was like, oh, I'll just pick a Lari, um, because we already have, uh, who do we have? Moira, I think. I can't remember. And speaking of a Lari, my God, playing them with Venture. Holy shit. There was, there was a couple of games in a row where I'm like, I will just ult and I will get up in the skies in the back line. Hopefully people like randomly use abilities for no reason. And then my, my venture, they end up tunneling behind them or, or close to them. I shoot my ult. They pop out of the ground and just start fucking pummeling them. Just like actually destroying the back line because they're all like slowed and then venture just insta detonates the, um, the solar flare. It's fucking, it's a really cool combo. Um, uh, and I found it, yeah, it was really fun to use. Al although having it used on me, holy shit, you just insta die. <laughs> it's it's not that fun, but using it's kind of cool. <laughs> so like a small combo there with uh, with Venture, because Venture doesn't need to like run through people to get to the back line. They just burrow, and then Alari hits the back line with the ult, and then she pops out and kills people. It's like a really neat little thing that I found today, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, I think that's why I also a lot of people find Alari. But... Yeah. yeah. I, think it's cool. I think it's a really cool hero. It's a shame that Alari hasn't been meta more. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm, as soon as we finish here, I'm fucking logging on and playing Lari. Like, actually, <laughs> that hero is fun as hell. Yeah, so we got to wrap this shit up, bro. Get this, get this fucking train moving. Don't play Lari. All right, all right, all right. Let's get the uh, show on. Let's not talk about more anymore. Um, there were a couple of more things from season ten. Has have any of you guys played Clash yet? During a play test? Yes, I did. I didn't okay. play actually, but I played I, uh, a lot of five CP in TF2, guys. So it's, it's nothing fine. like five CP. Yeah, yeah. I, I see. There's like the <laughs> score um, mechanic. So that's going to be really different. So I think the score mechanic is overall a good thing because the problem with 5 CP from TF2, for those that don't know, is that it incentivized a lot of stalling and you don't push. Like, there's no... It got to the point in TF2 where you were not incentivized to finish the map. Like, why would you push to the A or E point or, like, the furthermost point to finish the map when, like, that's a huge gamble for you. It's super defended favored and you should just stall. You should just... Cap the first four points Make the and then defenders just sit there. push out of their defense if you're winning. Yeah, and so like yeah. so the game so five CP was bad for that reason. And I was like, bro, if they do five CP in Overwatch, they're gonna fix that. And so they fixed that by introducing a scoring system where every time a new point opens, both teams have to fight for it. And whoever gets the cap gets the point. And if you score five times, you win the map. So uh, I they've kind of solved the incentive issue, which I think is really good. They solved the stalling. Um the issue, however, becomes I, I made a tweet about this. One issue I have with Clash is there's a huge variance in the duration of the game. So you can have like a, a giga stomp, three fights, three minutes, done. Cap C, D, E, finish, yeah. right? The middle, then the fourth point, the fifth point, and the map's done in under three minutes. And it's not even hypothetical. This actually happens. There are actual games that this happens. Someone did it against it's really me bad. Day, uh, it's, yesterday. It's, and it's, it's really bad for the game, in my opinion. A two minute forty five, uh, two minute forty five second game. Like it was that like me, crazy. J three, and like some other uh, some people that he invited, and it was like four of us, and then one random, and they just full capped, and we were like, oh, we just you, lose. you can't have a game that just finishes that quickly. You cannot, and I just think there's not enough like time to play into each point. It it feels like to me each point you can just basically hit one fight, and that's it. 
The good news is you do get like a 20 second setup time. But good teams will like not try and fight you then that time. Like teams don't really want to do anything. And then the setup time's gone, the point unlocks, and then teams start to do something. But when the point unlocks and you win a team fight, you get the cap. There's no contesting it. So it's over. So it's one fight, one and done, every point. Um, I think the game mode needs like two fights per cap. You should be able to fit in a second fight. One wave of respawns, fight again. Because the other issue with like snowballing is if you think about it, if you do a two minute 45 roll, you also have a huge ultimate advantage for the other team. In, in three fights, the losing team cannot catch up in ults. The winning team is still ult advantage snowballing. And so the game's just over. Uh, that's an issue. So that's if you, um, hypothetically, on, on that point, if you, if you finish capping the map, could you see a point where it's almost like control, where like it resets for the round and you keep going, but the, the, the team who won, quote unquote, it, won, they keep their score. So they're up their score heavily, but the game I mean, kind of like continues after a reset. I, I like that, but the problem is it feels janky. It doesn't feel right. Does, does it, like it just feels it feel strange. Watch. That's true. Sure. It's, yeah, it just doesn't feel. It feels super janky. Like it's not clean at all in terms of design. I, mean, I don't think a, the devs would ever go for that. They just need to rework the second and third points so that they're a little bit more defender favored and a little bit harder to, to finish the game on if, if it's likely to finish the game. But I think also then you can't. Then map, there's no point going, going to those so points. Much, there's like, so much those chaos. Points, those like points just people... end up being like the defenders always win those points then so it's also no, but, but right? i mean people people i mean like i don't even think they should do those changes now i think they should give the mode like a, at least like a month or say with no changes because i'm curious how often something like those snowballs happen once people actually know the maps and understand like yeah. how to defend this point right maybe there already are a bunch of defenders advantages but people like are just running out to the point to defend it without thinking about oh i could play on this high ground or whatever you don't right? like, want you don't want massive defender favors because then you have a situation where like oh the game is always i push into you that i lose the next fight because it's defender favor then we go back so it's always like one 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 you don't want this ping pong thing either yeah, yeah i'm not saying they need to change it right now i just think we shouldn't worry about it until we've seen more gameplay because no people the map's so new you know no, nobody knows the map yet and so there's more likely to be more chaos in the early days of like people just don't know how to play the map so like it's just it doesn't solve. more random. Even like, even when you do, even when people learn the map, it doesn't solve for situations where rolls can happen. So I think my issue ultimately comes down to like the fact that a roll can happen. Whereas in like control in a cough game mode, you can two zero that. You can hundred to zero both and two zero that. And the minimum match length is still like five minutes. Yeah, it's I pretty sure is it. So maybe it's about five or five. If you, unless you count those time in the spawn, maybe it's a little bit more. But I think the time in the spawn does like slow the pace down a little bit to make it feel longer. But even like a two hundred zero in control feels at least like a, on a pure feeling feels like a longer thing. And I think it's the breakup Whoa, between the first and second round. I'm kind of okay with at least like I just think we need more time for these maps to really. Yes, I agree. How they play. I think you like, are I just way overreacting too way to too early anything. about. No, I, I actually, more time I doesn't disagree. solve the issue I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. You can argue that it's played differently when we have played it more, but I still oh, feel like so the game mode feels pretty. I think it's fine. No, I don't think jank is the right word, but I think it can be improved upon. I I feel like they could make a change or two to make it feel better because I don't like playing the game mode. I think Especially you guys if you are ping on pong back and forth. Crack. Like, I think it, actually, it's crazy. I, that I feel we pretty both claustrophobic like... when I play the map. I think I, it's oh super God. close, and I don't. We've I had it for a day, jack. and neither of you have played hard. it, or like, sorry, Avril. I have played it. it. <laughs> yeah, Avril's played it. Johnny hasn't. Like, what? Are yes, you I saying? did. I have played it. Have you played but, it in comp? Have you played it in like when people understand the game? No, you fucking have no. Like, like, it doesn't change so it. People understanding the game. So people understanding the, hold on, hold on. Hold, people understanding the game doesn't change the point I made. Because you can but still. What if it's the, the case that like after a month, the three fight stomp is like one in a hundred games? Then I would call it a non-issue, personally. Okay, let's, 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 let me let me give but you an example. What if it's like ten in a hundred games? Okay, me, maybe it's an you issue. Give example, I just feel like we don't we can't know yet. I can give like here's like I don't know like. Fucking Dallas Fuel 2021 versus Vegas or some shit. That's a three minute song. Your map's over instantly. Let's be honest, this game is gonna be played in OWCS and professional some stage. But it's only You're gonna one see some game bigger mode. stomps. I mean you can you can full but cap push bad. in two minutes. I, I right? You can't you full cap push in two minutes if you no, literally no, the perma bot push? Is, the bot is really slow though. No no but push. I swear I've seen people win in like less than four minutes. For sure I've seen a win in less you can than win four it, you can win in less than four minutes, but the thing is you get more fights in. I feel like you can fit way more fights in and there's just not enough fights in in clash like if you, if you win the whole entire game mode in three fights it's a problem you do a 200 zero on koth it's that takes more than three fights uh, new queen street if you push new queen street it's three minutes 
with how many king fights? I think yeah, you yeah. can get like two forty-five on Yukui streams. Yeah, if you're like max. Oh, th this max. actually realistically, it's probably like closer to yeah. three to four. In overall, probably you will see it on OWCS if it's like turn on the fire versus like randoms. They will cap in three minutes, you know. And I guess I just I think for me it's like really important how often that actually happens. Like I didn't play the ma the map, so I, I think it's hard to say. But if the third point is really that defender, I mean, making last very defender favored is not necessarily a problem the way the game mode is currently scored, right? Because you don't have to push last ever unless you're very far behind. Maybe you try to push last. But you like, do. No, you do because it's a free point for the enemy team. When when the point unlocks, whoever caps it gets a point. So no, you no, just no, give I mean, up a point push to the last, team. Like push the final cap, the, the yes. end of the map. Yes, if you don't push the if you if you cap four and the last point is open and you don't push it, you concede a point to the other team and they score. Which is how, bad how for much you. time does it take? Do you mean how much time does it take? Like if you don't push last, how much time does it take for the enemy team to score? Because he however play. long the cap goes to, I don't know the exact times. However long it takes to cap, but they score. The point is they score because it's a first to five scoring, best of nine. Like giving away a score point is just. Obviously wait, wait, wait. so they bad. score, so but it doesn't change the status of the game? Like, the like the same points are still open? No, no, no. Uh, okay, so so you cap, it opens the next point. So you cap C, so you go on the HUD hit, you cap C, you now play for D. If you cap D, you score the second point, now you play for E. And then if you cap E, you obviously win the entire game. But if you fail to cap E and the enemy caps E, now they score a point, and now you're two to one and score, right? So you're two, they're one, and, then, and, you and then play they for have a again. turn to try to recap your... Your now you play D, for D, right? Yeah, they you play for D, D yeah. and but if they fail D, to cap that, then you get then your you point score, back, right? You score three, then you score three. Now it's three to one. Now you push E again because E is super defender favored. They probably yeah, score super again. Now it's three two. The, the, now right, right, but or you don't push and you let them get a cap, but then you just play to win D with all your alts again. Sure. Right? If that's... you let them cap, they score a point. That's what I mean. You live, you just don't care. You like let them have their so, points. Yeah, you're that, gonna that, win that's your point by the game. That if you say that hypothetically, we're just gonna fight for this D point over and over again. That becomes yeah, the that risk. Would be a like you are giving the enemy sure. a point, and so you're betting essentially on always staying one point ahead with that risk strategy. Yeah, yeah. That that just sounds like bad game mode. That's, now it's just five CP and TF two again, where you just never push no, last. I, I, no, yeah, it just because doesn't because feel I, good. Well, no, because, you know, okay, how many times in Overwatch have you seen someone have five ults and, like, they fuck up the fight? I think, like, you should always... The game should incentivize you just to always play for objective, and it should never incentivize you just to, like, we're just going to allow them to score here and not No, but, I mean, like, it happens in some... Okay, I'm playing Devil's Havoc here, but it happens in some modes where you're, like, you know, push, for example, like, oh, well, let them cap to yeah, get a better It is position. literally the meta and push to stop pushing the objective when you're winning. In most cases. Well, not, not every that, problem, but even That's like, a problem, though. I don't think that's a good design, You don't take a bad fight though. because you want to be better prepared for the next one. Like, that does happen. No, no, but you literally that's... get off the car because you want to play a better defensive position and you're winning, so you're on defense. I feel like this is like... Yeah. But okay, again, I can see that. this is only going to matter for, like, literally less than a thousand people in the whole world because I guarantee if you are below Masters, you have never seen people intentionally get off the bot and stop pushing. I, I, I see people don't understand to do this in my GM games, so I'm pretty sure it's, like, a minus, you like... Make. I don't like push as example because I think push is not a well-designed game mode. I, I wouldn't have to go into that. Really? But. I love push. I think it's one of the best game modes, actually. Uh, I mean, it has, it has its good moments. Game mode but it's rankings. Like, Next episode. No. Okay. <laughs> game mode. Just, so I just um, think for Clash, I just feel like it's too early to have like a strong criticism of it when we just haven't seen any real play of it. I mean, we haven't I had, even seen ranked yet. I have I had super strong criticisms of push day one and I ended up being one hundred percent correct. It's but they it's didn't not, change anything. They fucking did change plenty. They changed plenty. Correct. They changed I was literally Wait, which stuff, things I, did they change? stuff I, I submitted, stuff I submitted feedback literally got put in the game. So yes, I can't remember what they changed. Uh, we went from eight minutes to ten minutes and bot speed went to like maximum base. Oh yeah, on yeah. They changed speed. the the Those are two changes. The bot Those are two itself, changes not the barrier speed, but the bot change, yes, for yeah. comeback is good. And they and also the, the overall game time from eight to ten got changed as well. Those are two major changes to the game that was required in my opinion. I feel like Clash, Clash has so many levers they can pull to fix things that are really well, easy. One of the like levers. Changing time, changing how long it takes to cap a point. That's Maybe what I'm you have saying. to take like, multiple fights to cap. Maybe it's like cough where you can cap the point and you gotta hold it. But I, I mean, I mean, there's so many levers to pull. I feel like why well, I'm just not I'm zero I'm zero percent worried about this game mode because I feel there's just so many well, adjustments they can make. But not, like, ideas, I'm not saying Jake. it's bad. We're I'm not saying it's a bad game mode. I'm not saying it's a bad game mode. I'm just saying like the only I think it's overall good. I think it's better than five CP and TF2. But the only thing that worries me is like the speed of the game and i think it needs some adjustment but i don't like think it's a bad game i think it's i think it's yeah they'll figure it out We're just I, think it's, I think it's i think it's a perfectly i had a lot of fun playing clash and uh, to be fair with you all my clash games were close all my clash games were like above like seven minute average games 
Yeah, well, I didn't have actually. any three-minute stops. Yeah. I guess, so, I guess so it is, my point is this. The, the fact that it is technically possible to cap New Queen Street in three minutes is, like, not really a real critique that you think about because it just almost never happens. And so my thought is the same for Clash. If it is truly the case that it almost never happens, it's okay that you can win in three minutes if that happens 1% of the time. A difference is in, in push, the payload basically like dictates your pace of the game in a mode like this where there's no payload this is the same problem to cp is you can just go to the next point you can just go to the next point like the objectives does not give you any pacing whereas the, the payload forces you to be slow um the only thing that forces you to be slow in clash is that it takes 20 seconds for each point to unlock but teams don't necessarily have to fight during those times you can just yeah. sort of chill whatever like a lot of teams in cough like you know you might just like stall for a bit until the point opens it's pretty normal this point takes um, a long time to cap actually uh yeah i think it maybe needs to be even 30 percent slower I, I i was juggling ideas of like maybe it needs to be like you cap and it's a control point that is percentage but then i don't like the idea of like the t other team having to counter cap and you're just sitting on the same point for way too long because i think the idea that you're moving between the caps is really important but i it's a little bit too you, much Johnny. like flashpoint i think if you have to hold the cap johnny like to me it probably is to me most of the game was b c and d and you barely played a and e that was my experience I I, yeah yours. i i didn't just, I, uh which, I didn't play A and E. Um, I don't think it, I don't think that's if that's good or not because I think it's maybe bad that we that the game is basically all B, C, and D. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it, for, for, from a variety sake, the fact that you never play A and E and the fact that A and E are so defended favor and like you need that because you don't want the game to just instantly end. But at the same time, like I don't know. I will say if I'm being critical of my own point, if I'm just curious like myself, uh, I I felt like the game mode felt. Uh, pretty cha chaotic and also it felt pretty claustrophobic but i think that is a symptom of actually just playing quick play like jake said if you're in an organized setting and you're actually setting up for team fights and you're more aware of the enemy positioning it's going to be way more understandable like what's happening in the mode how you're setting up for the fight so we'll kind of figure that out there that yeah. got pretty that got pretty passionate that's why that's i love that that's great Dude, okay Okay, Why Joss, what do you have to say? Okay, I'm only going to say one thing and then please move on. I actually just mute everybody and then just move on. Like, everybody overreacts instantly as soon as shit comes out. And that's not even just us. That's like the Overwatch community as well. Like, holy fuck. It's not in ranked. Whip, or it's also not in, like, roll queue. It's in, you can have four tanks in that game mode if you want and one healer. That's what we played against. I mean, I did customs, but like, anyway. That shit sucks. Like, right. I did it, it's jobs. not good. I'm, I'm going to be like, a good everybody friend. Everybody is overreacting, and I want to move on. because and I'm not going to respond to you, because I'm a good friend. Good. I'm not gonna, I'm we're going to move I'm, on. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate I'm going that. To appreciate, I'm going we're going to um, move on. We're going to yeah. move on. Holy moly. Because I, I could have kept that going as a host. I could have kept that going, but I'm your good friend, so I won't. I won't. I'm going to move on. Ramen mascot? That's what we didn't That goes crazy. Talking about the overreacting, guys. What do you think about the queue times for wide groups? the game right now didn't they say it's a bug by the way the uh, GM thing. They, they released a blog post at the day of recording yeah they released a blog post saying hey they're making some adjustments to make it faster um i think something like yeah so they acknowledged the problem at least so they're working on the problem um but yes they obviously with the narrow and wide groups they changed it up pretty significantly um i believe in the blog post i want to make sure i get this correct so that i don't leak um nda um uh, but uh they did uh right uh narrow groups are seeing a shorter queue time uh but we're making a change to help players who are at the very high rank like grandmaster or champion we adjusted matchmaking to find matches faster but there may be a wider average skill difference between teams we'll continue to monitor matchmaking closely um so they've acknowledged the issue they're working on the queue times obviously no one wants to be stuck in a queue for an hour long no one wants to uh, i mean me jaws and custa we queued yesterday and we had like 16 minute queues they're like 12 minute queues you guys actually. wide is that wide yeah, yeah we were wide yeah um but i mean we queued like a lot of roles like i queued like yeah. all roles when me and Jaws scott were two. duo dpsing the queues were like 20 minutes okay well that's like, toxic duo of, dpsing is toxic i kind of put that down to like it being a wide queue and also it being dps day because of adventure but i mean yeah, oh that's true. probably we that was probably queuing. really bad because everyone's queuing dps to play venture but yeah, we yeah, were exactly. in queues where like we we had a couple of us queue tank and we were just I hoping for like a damage support duo yeah i think the problem is just the way the wide group works like you can only play another wide group if you're a wide group so like the matchmaking pool is really limited because I mean, basically not... all solo queue players are like not possible to play with you so that's a huge percentage of the matchmaking pool that they can't match you with 
And so I think it'll take time. I mean, I think if, there's a weird problem here where like I recognize like SK's tweet, what she's saying is true that like the game's like super fun to play duo. It's like makes the game way more enjoyable to grind ranked. However, I feel that it's always been the case that it's just strategically better to duo. Like almost every player who's champ gets a it duo. It's just, it's like, I know it's more fun, but it is also better. Like it's like objectively, like if you want to win the most games, you should duo every single game. Yeah. Um, and there's some flaws with it. Like, right. Like if everyone has some variance, their, their, their skill, right. Like your skill, your rank will naturally go up and down, even though your skill might be like, you know, as a, as a theoretical thing, let's say it's a constant, like your, your actual performance wins and losses, you know, your skill is going to go up and down um, just based on variance. And there's a huge problem with like, you could just duel with somebody who is at a low point of their variance and you're at a high point in your variance. And now you're effectively getting like boosted by them. It's so it's like a micro thing. And I wouldn't, I mean, boosting is like a, a strong word because that's something that's like against toss, which obviously this isn't. But basically, like you can like optimize and min max the Q system to have a better to have an advantage if you want to. Um, and I've always thought that's kind of stupid as a player who plays mostly solo Q. But then when I play duo, I'm like, wow, the games are so much easier when I do it with a strong player. Like, cause I, you know, I have so much more stability in, in what the game's gonna be that. For me, it's always felt like an advantage to do a queue. Like it's better than solo queuing. Um, and so I, I don't like that. I feel like it shouldn't be better than solo queuing. You shouldn't really get an advantage, but it's very hard to encapsulate numerically what the advantage is since it's something like coordination or like willing, you're both you're both players who will swap for each other. So it's much easier to have that. a better team comp. You can't quantify that, right? No, exactly, exactly. But so, I, and I think, I guess it's sort of, I just think there is, there is a serious challenge here I don't think it's some easy, obvious problem to solve. You say, oh, let me play with anybody I want to, but also that the games are balanced and it's fair and you don't get an advantage from it. That's solving both of those at the same time, I think is really hard, uh, maybe harder than people give Blizzard credit for. So I'm glad they're experimenting and I think it's good that anybody can play with anybody. I think that's actually really good for the game. Um, but at the same time, they might have to implement more measures and figure things out to like remove some of these bad outcomes. It's a new system. It's going to take time to actually do shit. So. Yeah. It takes time Maybe don't play white for the team. first couple of weeks. Since I love that yesterday I was able to queue with Custa and Jaws and they were their main support heroes and I was DPS. And the fact that we could queue and make that oh, happen. I cannot believe we won that game. <laughs> I loaded in. I, I saw me and Scott as support I'm, and you as DPS. I'm like, we lose. We what? actually just insta lose. I was well, we DPS though. We so probably the other that team was crazy. has low ranked DPS too. I, I'm, I'm sending Solo on the board. I'm so sending Solo on the board. Do a quick VOD review. Quick VOD review. <laughs> next segment. Quick, quick VOD oh, review. Oh, yeah, I remember because it was New Queen Street and I was playing Lucio, I think. Yeah, there you go. The fucking yeah, I mean, should have brought up Moira. The hard carry support. had to queue all roles yeah, just exactly. so we could get a game. Um, yeah. But even then, they well. took. How long then. was the queue with all roles? Uh, so with all, I was I queued mean, two roles, to be fair. I was not queued at all. When I queued damage, it was probably more like six, seven minutes. But when I only queued tank and support, it was like, yeah, it was more like over 10 minutes pretty much every time. It was like around 10 to 15 minutes. I think multiple minutes. roles probably has an especially big impact when you're in a wide group because you're already dealing with a smaller matchmaking pool. And so, right, like the uh, this matchmaker has very different options, Johnny, if you're queued on like DPS and tank. I don't actually know your rank, but I'm assuming your tank is like higher than your DPS by a, a few tiers. Yeah, my damage is like predicted to be like gold one or something. Okay, so. okay. So you're like actually average, but then you're like what, master or something on master slash diamond on tank? So you're like at least Holy two full smoke. divisions up on on. <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, uh, what, what is, it's lagging out of what control. Is this slow mo, what super FPS, lag. bro. Your stream's crazy. This isn't even FPS. Like slow mo or something. Oh, that's, that's actually true because I stream in 120 FPS, so it's probably uh, messing with solo one. That's why. Oh, I'm... really? You're streaming okay. 120 FPS? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's that flexing his internet. Fucking, I wish yeah. I had good internet. But um, basically, it's, I think you I think have to like brute force it. But it, putting it's you on DPS cool. means the matchmaker can pull from many more. Diff like you could queue into a a group that's relatively close with your tank, or you could group queue into another very wide group with your DPS. So it like opens up so many more of the wide groups are now available to be to be made into a match. Yeah, John, you got some blink efficiency issues here. <laughs> Look, I'm just I'm just trying to flank. Look at him; he's gonna blink. I can just feel you're gonna blink for no reason. Why right? you shoot that guy, bro? He's not looking at you. What Why do you mean? Go back to the team? Yeah, well, you know, it's a bastion. You die pretty quickly against Sebastian. You know, yeah, I'm playing safe. You're a tracer. Yeah, but you know, I I play I play pretty chill. You know, I just want to stay alive. I went right, 24, so 24 and two. Right. I hit all oh. my post bumps. Projected gold on DPS. This is what we're witnessing. 
Yeah, you just, <laughs> you just I didn't overcommit. You know, it's going just forward, don't be dead forward, strategy is, It's not the worst strategy. They're doubting me. Give you that. Just stay alive, get damage in, focus the same targets as your teammates. You know, play it safe. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get diamond DPS. Jaws, you're talking, talking Take the high ground, Johnny. Take the high ground. Flank them, flank them. Ugh. Yeah, yeah I, you look, I could improve. I'll, I'll give you that, Jake. <laughs> I could play better. I could play better. I'll give you that. Uh, anyway, anyway, all right. The one clip, he's one eagle, he woke up somewhere. Cut away, someone cut away. Where's Sebastian? There we go. Nice. Oh, the stick at one HP. Let's go. Yeah, he was one HP. Okay, Solomon, one HP, you can take down the video now, Solomon. Please. Kill's a kill. Wait, one clip? Let's see a one clip. Please, here. Solomon. For the Mr. love of God. 57 clip, bro. Look at him go. Mr. 57. <laughs> He's going to do it, bro. He's anyway, so the Esports World Cup <laughs> prize pool was announced. Uh, 60 million. In, in total, they got $60 million available for all titles. What did we guess last titles. time? Did we guess 100 million? No, I, I think that was my I guess. Have, yeah, maybe. I think I said 100 mil is a meme. Like, hopefully 100 mil, but obviously like, yeah, I, unlikely. Yeah. I thought so that's across all good. games, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, so it's not just... And like 60, mil, 60 mil just Overwatch, guys. Uh, yeah. Million. And 30 I'll million goes to the winners uh, across all the different titles. Um, and Yiska made some napkin math, and it says that it seems to be around $1.5 million for the yeah. Overwatch prize pool. Let's go. That's good. How Is that good or bad? Esports World Cup. Wait, so there's like 25 games? That's 22 games. 22 games. 22 games. Very yeah. good, I think. 1.5 milli for Overwatch seems very good. I mean, it's nice I think it's... for like a one-off event, but it could be yeah. more, I guess. It's weird because it's split on so many games. So in the end, the prize pool is not that special for any one game. Um, but probably like the bigger games will have a bigger prize pool, I would assume. But hey, I'm not mad at a million plus prize pool. Yeah, I mean I, that seems pretty good to me. PUBG yeah. Mobile. Um, some of the some of the games. some of the some of the titles do have more money, so it's not an even split of money across all the titles. Yeah. Which makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. PUBG Mobile is more popular than Overwatch. Oh, that is it. Yeah. I don't know if it's popularity or something else. But maybe Steve's it is popularity. Popularity. Someone just making it up. They're probably I'm a little mix of all the above. Um. If Overwatch yeah. 30 mil. What did what did the yeah what did we have in um Overwatch League or prize pool in the past? Season four, three point two million. Season five, two point five million. Season for the six. The whole season, right? For the whole season. Yeah. Which is uh, just no. Well, one. that's for the playoffs. But effectively, it's the whole season, right? Because you have to play the whole season. To sure. The sure. So effectively, it's the whole season. season so for three, one off event, one point five is pretty sick for one point. Oh, there you go. One off. That's these that's are full convenient. season prize pools. Right? Oh, that's for the stages and everything. Yeah. So that's stages plus playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, so three to four mil. What's like a playoffs only prize pool for Overwatch League season? About playoffs the numbers only. I mentioned, between between two to three million dollars. Pretty good. Yeah, sounds about right. For the playoffs. I mean, for a one-off event, Esports World Cup, getting one point five million, like that's okay. pretty good. So it's pretty comparable to like, and and even Overwatch League is like, yeah, it's just playoffs, but of course you can't really separate the two. You know, like in the end, the ranks affected. It all comes from the whole yeah. season. So season one was the lowest prize pool in the Brooklyn Arena. So guys. Kind of wild, actually. Interesting. Think about. How much is OWCS Doko? Do we know that yet? We don't. No we idea. don't even know Dallas yet. Do we know Dallas? That I don't is, think no, we do. No, we I just know that you qualify range. for the Esports World Cup if you get top two in Dallas. That's what we know. So, And maybe um, probably there is probably a small prize pool plus the qualifier. Because to be fair, qualifying straight to the ESWC, you're guaranteed like some few hundred grand or something like that. Or like, right. maybe not guaranteed. Maybe you're guaranteed so actually, like, something like 100 grand. Com compared to the pricing we've had before, this isn't like the most wild price pool ever for Overwatch. Yeah, no. I think I was expecting more. I don't know. But to be to, fair, to me... we still don't know, right? Like it is, we're still making it up to guess what Overwatch was. Sure. Be. Yeah. But I mean, we're not getting like five million. I doubt that. Okay. So it's, fair. Fair. It, let's just say it's Overwatch League level. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say it's like it's it could be one. Level, let's say it's like one point five to three somewhere in there. Yeah. I mean, for a one-off tournament, it's good cash. You know, I don't think maybe. It, could be more, I guess, but I don't, I don't know. At least the fact that we still don't know. Well, yeah, it's you quite a get, long away. So you, you, do get, you do get 50k for MVP. They have an MVP in there. It's not far away though, right? It's like three months, right? July. It's July. Yeah, so three months from now. Yeah. All right, fair enough. So, fair enough. Well, I guess we don't know Dallas yet. Yeah, we don't know Dallas either. <laughs> That's like earlier. Um, we uh, probably won't get the official every game breakdown for I would think a little bit while a little while longer. And also, there's more. There's more, right? Is it is 60 the complete total actually is it like 30 for the games 20 for the club yeah okay this is it so i think the 20 is even like a split so it's not like the first place club gets 20 mil i think there's a no, split no. price pool as well um i think i worked it out like this it's something where if you the mvp you calculate backwards from mvp so it's fifty thousand per mvp 
1.1 million across 50k is 22 titles and then um once you divide it up further it ends up being so it's like what 30 I believe it's 31.3 million is what I calculated to because yeah you combine the MVP plus qualify plus club at championship it says 30 mil plus but we know it's out of 60 mil it also says 60 mil plus so I don't know about that anyway I calculated to 31.3 plus the 7.6 and then you divide that by 22 games it's about 1.5 mil 1.4 mil if it's even we know it's not an even distribution but if it was it'd be about 1.4 1.5 per game yeah, and I think the club championship is exciting as well because it encourages more teams who have like you've got let's say you've got a Dota team and a CS team, maybe you do want to pick up an Overwatch team or like some of the other titles just to be like in a better position for the club championship. I mean, even if it's like yeah. a one-off thing, like you sign somebody just for this tournament, like one of the higher ranked teams. So it is like cool to incentivize more of these big orgs that kind of exist across many esports, which are kind of the lifeblood of esports in many ways. To have a prize for them is, I think, a really cool, exciting idea for esports. Um, that's not fully separated out game by game that like recognizes something that's very unique in esports which is which is this whole concept of having multiple teams in multiple games it doesn't exist to my knowledge in any other professional sport other than you've got like your nba team and your g league team or whatever but it's all the same sport whereas in esports you know there's this mm -hmm. weird reality of having multiple games multiple teams across one brand that are all tier one teams all elite we want to talk about qualification pathways because that got announced as well of watch sure um yeah some I, very I, I interesting basic masters yeah, league i'm gonna qual guys i'm gonna be number one so, out so of... some, i noticed some <laughs> yeah. very interesting Without things three. from the pathways and i discussed this on my stream as well but um okay so the breakdown is like this there's a follow-up tweet that's very important um we can show we don't have to I'll, i could just say what it is uh so here it goes in case of dallas major the first two so if you look at the top of the screen um there's 16 slots in total the first two at the top is owcs dreamhack dallas major number one number two so if you come first place you come second place you automatically get invited to ewc except it has to be only na or mea the korean teams or the asian teams cannot take those slots and the reason why is because the asian teams already pre-qualified from top four at the asia land event that's happening next week so one two three and four from asia land most likely going to be all the top four korean teams um you know the Fa falcon crazy raccoons ftg yetis of the world so then after I mean, that you have the face of slots of the emea and a stuff top three in both and then you have ladam number one os number one you got a f an invite for china uh let's please team end the china. team from let's please end the team from china thing <laughs> I, it I, really really involves me. I fucking hate that let's end that that's probably the hanjo spark we can just assume it's, it's not even spark. a meme yeah um and, and the then, dallas major winning region also gets another spot so i so yeah could that's, be one more asia spot so that's the thing, right? And, and Jake's on it. So what uh, the way that's going to work, I'm pretty sure this is like, I'm 90% correct on this, but whoever wins Dallas, that region gets an extra spot as a direct invite. So for example, if Korea wins, if Asia wins, they already have four Korean teams. It goes to Asia Seed 5. And the funny thing is, Asia Seed 5 is either Japanese or Pacific. So a Japanese or Pacific team might get a direct invite to, to, the, uh, to the EWC if, you know, Korea wins Dallas. But if I feel it's like it'd be better to have a second Chinese team, honestly. Like, well, no, it's not. Competitiveness. What, did that, what? What? Name the second Chinese team. That's true. Name that's the true. players. The second I just Chinese mean players. Team. I don't know what the team is. I, well, we, the, to be fair, there's no, no Chinese one, teams, right? They don't there's exist. no. There's 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 the even the one Chinese team, the Spark. I don't think they've scrimmed for like six months. So there's that's no what I mean. Chinese the teams. Spark doesn't exist anymore. So I don't, I'm not even counting them. I'm like, yeah. can you make two new rosters? Like, I you can make one. You can make one competitive Chinese roster. I don't think you can make two. Yeah. Um, so if NA and EMEA win the Dallas Major, then they get the extra slot. So you could see four NA teams or four EMEA teams or like maybe like a five and three situation. Then you have another situation where let's say like, you know, obviously the Korean teams can't take the number one, number two DreamHack Dallas spots because they already have the Asia spots. Toronto basically is guaranteed to be one of those two because we can assume that they're one of the top two, you know, of the Western teams. That just means that from the face it side, Toronto, they can just bypass face it and then the next three teams in NA can take the face of slots. So that means like a Luminosity could sneak through in the face of qualifiers, right? So that uh, makes things really interesting for NA EMEA. Hey, LG beat Timeless, no? In the, yeah, they did. In mm -hmm. the, the group stage. So I don't know. Yeah, I, think it's possible. I think it's, I just think it's exciting. You know, it's, it's fun to have all these different ways to qualify. And um, yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be a cool tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to move on to OWCS as it currently is? 
Yeah. Uh, slight uh, schedule change that Jeske also highlighted on his Twitter. Uh, so now we get to see both elimination matches in the lower round. Uh, if you remember in the first main event, they played both the elimination matches at the same time. So no no more of that. Instead, you get to see both the matches, so a minor change. Uh, Everyone, if you get eliminated, we get to see it on stream. Ever. Yeah, we no actually get to see you being eliminated. eliminated so, Which I think is important. I think having the eliminated teams, because we'll, we'll see the teams who win, we'll see them further on, right? Yeah. So let's yeah, get everybody good. on it's the broadcast. I think it's good. Yeah. Love to see it. Small change there. Uh, besides that, you guys want to chat a little bit about Odol DCS as it uh, took place uh, this past week. Um, and obviously, we've got some more matches coming up this next week as well. I think that was the biggest one to really talk about was Luminosity versus Timeless. Toronto yeah, to Defiant, they trolled, they put in Danny for a little bit. So some Tour of Action, some One Tracer, <laughs> stuff like that. But, um, By the way, Vega had, the, Vega had college, right? Or collegiate game? Collegiate game, yeah, I think. Yeah, so they put Danny in. I just, can I just I mean, talk about Danny real quick? When you guys. Has such a gap. When you guys interviewed Danny afterwards, the Twitter tag said, it's me, Limmy. You guys put Danny Lim's Twitter <laughs> for Danny. It's they, the wrong fucking Danny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they meant to do that. No, oh, no sure way. They they didn't, somebody didn't know. It said, so it's Limmy. It I'm sw I promise you. For said sure, somebody thought, oh, Danny, I know Danny. Here's the Twitter tag. That's yeah, insane. they just put the wrong Danny on there. That's... <laughs> I thought that was so intentional. Funny. I could be wrong. No, I guarantee. They, I don't think they would do something like that. No, I don't think. Uh, with the wrong not. Twitter, that'd be like bad to do intentionally. But it's a funny mistake, I think. Yeah. But, uh, to be fair, if you Google Danny OW, you probably get it's me, Lemmy. But yeah, I think there's like four Dannys or something on Wikipedia. So Are there really? you know, Shit, but know if the there, there is definitely one of them that actually is on the Throw to Defiant roster, so maybe you, you should be able to find that. Anyway, yeah, minor hiccup, minor hiccup. But that was one of the best series uh, of the week. Otherwise, you know, my biggest gripe with the group stage is that it's just a lot of, you know, stomps. Like, there's not a ton of, you know, super great matchups. You know, we had this group of death, really, with Luminosity Timeless. But, oh, Joss loves it. He loves a good hammer yeah, kill. Hammer but, um, you know, we can't really make predictions. We usually made our bread and butter here on the Blacha podcast with predictions. But, you know, we can't foresee the, the, the next round, the elimination matches. So... It's uh, I don't know. So yeah, yeah. I feel like groups it's, are just like it's not. It's always going to be kind of stompy, right? Because there's such a big variance between how how many teams are still in at this point. There's going to be stomps, and and there are honestly kind of should be because trying to find you need yeah. to get rewarded for for going flawless in Swiss, right? So kind of eventually the regions will get closer in terms of skill level. This is just a problem with the fact that we've had Overwatch League for so long. A lot of the players have not played it with and against the best players in the world for this long and some some players I mean, have and those players who have are Toronto Defiant and the other good teams, right? I think yeah. eventually everybody in the region will level up, but this is just also what group stages are gonna be. There's always gonna be teams that go zero six, like Visor. Like there's always teams that are gonna do that. That's just we the are of our the... my face at Master League team, I think we beat Visor like three times in the qual. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, I, think yeah, we beat I mean, them like every it, time we played them, so this it's just, just like gonna happen. If, and if like, my team is gonna beat you down, then you're definitely gonna get beat down from Toronto Defiant. It's um, I don't know if people still feel this way, but obviously people are still like the community was kind of pissed that oh why aren't you broadcasting every match uh, like every single match? Like I'm curious if people still feel that way because. After seeing the amount of stomps that are live on broadcast, like, do you continue? Want do you do you still want to steal all these fucking stomps that happen? Like, I, mean, I wouldn't because like we, we well, showed stomps in the Overwatch League. We didn't shy away from. I don't mean. Is, is do we just avoid showing? I mean, do we only ever broadcast good games now? Like, what are we? No, talking about? no, we we just. I want them I'm to show is, every game and have me cast some of them. <laughs> yeah, like, same, Jake. Okay. Same. Actually, <laughs> me and Avro are like, yo. Let's yeah, double the amount of matches we show on the broadcast. Absolutely. Like, stop Absolutely. fucking around. We, I need to see Toronto Defiant 3 0 stomping every team they play. I need it. It's important. I want to see all the Swiss. I want to see all the Swiss broadcasts. I will watch Toronto Defiant I want every to, Swiss match. I want to be hide the cast. I mean, all kind of that. funny. Like casting stomps is kind of funny sometimes because you can fuck around. I hate casting but... stomps, but go go cast it with Solomon <laughs> like... on the bad Pachamara League stream. Yeah, there you go. I'm not doing it's it. It's a production. Every time, there we go. Yeah, go. yeah. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'll have time for this for a longer time, for for a different time rather. But like, I just think the group stage format is bad. Like, I, I want to. What see... else do you do? What would you do? Yeah. Group stage uh, again. 
I'm a Swiss no. I'm a Swiss no, head. No, not another I'm a Swiss, Swiss head. dude. I'm How much a Swiss? Swiss head. Put pit the best teams against each other earlier and pit the worst teams against each other. You get more even matches, less stomps. Do you mean do a Swiss with 16 teams instead of like 100 or whatever it is? 200? It's a work in progress, but is that people, even are, people are going to hate this. But I, I would say just cut the qualified teams to 12 instead of 16 to reduce the amount of matches. The, okay, I agree the they don't need to qualify 16. The drop-off is pretty bad after... Yeah, which but people honestly, are like, no, Johnny, the, the, the drop-off is pretty also, bad after the top eight. They, yeah, should just you not, know, they should just not have the group stage and just qualify. Pe the, the open heads are going to hate me so much, but maybe we can have Swiss qualifiers every two months? Do we have to do this every month? Do we have to give new people a chance every month? Have they improved that much? Why can't we see the best teams duke it out over the course of two months? Rather than over the course of one month. Yeah. Hypothetical. We got more oh, matches man. from the best teams. I can't wait Better to product. Enter more entertaining matches. Just saying. Maybe Korea would could also solve bit, so. some issues by auto calling the top, let's say top four from like the people yeah. who have actually from placed the top four in yeah. the bracket from okay, NA so here's the problem with that. You can't do Just that because them. you want to see them play still. You want to see the four best teams play. Yeah, that's true. Because we just reduce, like, okay, let's you watch EMEA without ends Space Station, X Oblivion, and Twisted Minds. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, so, no, but um, I, it's a yeah. work in progress. We don't have time for this because apparently Jake has another official match or something. But okay. at some point, I'll do a format uh, rant. But I don't like the group stage. I don't like the current format. We need to spend more time talking about the best teams and the best players in the region. And, uh, you know, at least the, if the people on Coachable, they figured out that coaches and players trash talking is actually good for the broadcast. So... Cool that they figured that out. So hopefully we get more of that. Now we just need the players to actually do it, and not now just the coaches to stop banning that are people. friends already. Yeah, wait, Blizzard doing the trash talk. Them, so yeah, maybe the players get banned, who come out and talk so trash too. Yeah, maybe it doesn't fall the broadcast talent. I don't know. Anyway, uh, moving on. I don't think we really have much more to move on to. To be honest, you know, we got the decider matches this upcoming week, and then uh, we got the main event. We'll talk a lot about the main event next week, and we'll talk a lot about the Asia main event next week in two. So we'll talk brackets. There's some preds. Um, we can do that. But yeah, I don't have a ton for you guys when it comes to this past week. We, I, we didn't talk about the Korea finals, though, to be fair. Well, last episode, we talked, we did a tail list. So we didn't actually cover the Korea finals that finished. Um, Let's go Falcons, baby. Also, um, next week, I'm also going to be in Korea as well. So I thought that was worth mentioning on the show. So that, um, I'm going to be going to the, the Asia land to cover that live and do content there live. And maybe co-stream there live as well. That would be cool. So... I'm all booked in, ready to go. Gonna be there for a week. It's a four day event as well. How long is the flight to Korea well. for you? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's like eight hours or less though. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. Um, so yeah, Falcons, Falcons came back guys. Falcons lost to Crazy Raccoon twice. And then in the grand finals of Korea, Falcons fucking won. And still a pretty high quality match, you know. This was before Re Crazy Raccoon got announced. So it's funny, Crazy Raccoon only announced the org after OWCS Korea ends. But like, I think I, f I think I had a leak to me that Crazy Raccoon was the org for like WAC since week two or week three of I OWCS mean, Asia. Maybe they were still finalizing so the deal and signing contracts so they can't announce until it's all done. It just, it took so long. It, it was like the longest announcement ever. It was like, bro, it's like a one month delay or something. It was so insane. But um. Yeah, quality quality final. I think it's just clear that like uh, Crazy Raccoon and Falcons are by far the best. Yeti started to fall off a little, a little bit. They had this insane moment, you know, in previous weeks we're talking about it. The whole the Viper godlike tracer moment, Dong on the Doom, and now they've kind of slowed down. It seems like other teams have definitely figured them out a little bit more. Falcons are also not playing as much of the Stalker Torb. They can just match the dive. Um, Hero Paul looking good for Falcons in this current meta as well. And then in the final, what what changed in the final? I think in the final, Falcons played a lot more Lucio Curry than trying to force Brigana. So Korea is funny. Korea is very Arisa Lucio Curry pilled right now. Whereas I think the other regions, interesting enough, is more Winston. Like EMEA is playing a bunch of Winston now, but Korea is playing way more just Arisa. So crazy how the regions Isn't have swapped. Everybody playing Arisa though. There's a little bit of alternate stuff, but then Arisa still pretty dominant everywhere. Arisa is probably like the default. Yeah, tank, yeah, the yeah. default meta for everybody. Like, I think far. Winston has its spot in like certain maps and stuff, but man, the Lucio Carry Rissa goes very hard. Mm. And I, I'm really curious to see if Venture shakes up the meta at all. I think that's like the big, honestly, I think that's bigger than any patch change. 
like of any hero it's just the fact that venture exists although i think venture could probably slot in really well with something like i forgot to talk about venture that's right <laughs> actually we had a lot going on this week yeah and venture is so fun i don't know what else there is to say about here other than they're just incredibly fun to play. pretty good at getting picks but also you know if you commit then you probably don't get out so uh um, it's a fun area I was thinking about Korea. Avril, yeah, go on with Korea. I was, was thinking about Korea, unless anyone wanted to pitch in. I, it's just like a little hard because it's like they finished the finals like on the seventh, so it's been like eleven days now. I'm trying to remember what happened, but um, I think Falcons, based on memory, were good enough to four zero that final, which is crazy to say. So the Suravasa map four was a three two finish for WAC, and that could have gone either way. Like that it map specifically could have Super Saiyan on that map though. That was Lip went Super Saiyan on bunch of maps for sure. Using to lose. That's yeah. OG Lip on Shanghai Dragons in the, um, what year was that? Yeah. Where he was just, go it was when Sojourn came out. It was the Sojourn meta. And Lip was just turbo killing everything in the lobby, but the team couldn't win. That was the Suravasa. It reminded me of that. Not that his team is, I think his team is much better than they were back then. But mm. nonetheless, this was a Lip go kill Suravasa. And by the way, Majed got playtime in the final. So he, they actually yeah, subbed him in for Rialto. He played Rialto. They had double it was the winnable Rialto. Uh, uh, he got four Falcons. His comfort heroes. Yeah. He got forced up his comfort heroes. I think that's the well. Point. I don't I think, think they can win if can... they fold first. It was like almost the. They, yeah, well, I don't Lari think you play Alari the whole time, right? Yeah, it's like no, a very finished. He got break. forced off the break and stuff, and he didn't look very good on the break. So yeah, I, I thought it was a gamble. I thought it was a big gamble for Falcons to go to because it was their map choice as well. They went to Rialto, and so it was a gamble to go there and then put Majed in. Um, maybe they weren't feeling as confident. Other, they they previously played a bunch of Havana, and I don't know. They just decided not to play Havana this time around. There's no bans, right? So you can go anywhere you want. That's why Map Two is like Esperanza. Um, so Falcons could have gone to any of the escorts, and they chose Rialto. And maybe it was because of the Majed thing. Maybe they just wanted to try the Majed Alari strat, try to throw whack off. They knew they were up by like a reason. It was three one, right? They they had a lot of maps to play through. Um, so yeah, they gave it a go, and then it fell apart after A. They finished on New Junk City, so we actually got to see double flashpoints. Interesting that we went to flashpoint twice. Uh, this is our first time we've done more than five maps because previously we don't have a best of seven and you need to like have a draw. So the first time you could see a repeat game mode, and the first repeat game mode we see is, is flashpoint. So <laughs> there, there that is. Um, pretty good final, still though. Very, very good final. Maybe kind of crazy that Falcons went up 3 0. Why kind of disappointed in that type of way they came back for two but reverse sweeping in a bo7 is incredibly difficult like basically impossible and we've only seen it once so so many yeah, map picks, really tough. especially that can be anything yeah and falcons have the map choice for the entire rest of the series which is super hard for yeah. whack yeah honestly i think the series goes off the rails in midtown pretty much for crazy raccoon or whack the losing their map pick on midtown is like kind of a death knell for them i mean ilios is their pick too right because they're top seed but nonetheless it's it's a call map it just doesn't matter as much but taking it to Midtown and losing, it's a that's a huge win for Falcons to bring them out. Mm -hmm. yeah, in sure. the end, I mean these are elite teams, so they prepped every map. They know all the maps. So in the, the I'm I wonder how much the map picker advantage really. I mean it, it was helps it was for added sure, more but... fun because they they literally played each other like once a week for three weeks straight, and you know Wack had won two. Yeah. And so then mm -hmm. this so whole Falcons question becomes like oh. Like, or, or whack the best team in the region. Obviously, they beat Falcons twice, and then Falcons bring it back in the finals. So, you know, once again, just, just highlighting how efficient the Korean format was at pitting the best teams against each other. And, you know, that's not even mentioning Yeti from the Gamer, who had good series too, but that's why Korea was so much fun to, um, to follow, true. I think, because they did a, a great job highlighting those sick teams. They, did, the they definitely no had... Is... Go ahead. They definitely had more games of the top teams playing against each other. That's one thing that the format did correctly. I mean, I their format, they've basically totally de-emphasized the idea of having an open format, though, right? Like, so it's like, Yeah, I mean, there's one qualifier you know? every other, uh, they, two, two per year or something. Yeah, so they have like a much better system for top teams playing each other more, but it basically is not possible to do that bad for you trying to qualify more teams yeah. and have an open system the way And also it's bad for Face It, who are trying to get people to participate on the Face It platform every Asia, month, right? you know? This is not an you need a sub to play. Yeah. So it's uh yeah, that's we, we we obviously can't copy that system. So I don't know. I, I think there's a middle ground somewhere. You but... guys, I almost made it to group stage of DCS. We were 17. <laughs> what how funny would it be if I was in a group stage? So you you'll make it did to, you uh... did you do better than Overwatch? You did better than Custard? Yeah, yeah. Well we were 17th, so we did better than everyone else who didn't qualify. 
Holy we shit. Were literally the one off from qual- one place. Yeah, but off Swiss, from is, Swiss is kind of RNG though, right? So you kind of get lucky. Yeah, it's sometimes. a little RNG. We also lost teams we for sure shouldn't lose. To. Like, we lost the teams and then we like changed what we were playing and our style. And then we beat those same teams in the face of Master Qual. So I'm pretty sure we we could have been the only team we lost to in the face of Master Qual um, was Fuck My Chungus Life <laughs> or For My Cherished Lover, as they will hereafter yeah. be known. <laughs> I know I know you went on the broadcast for the for the groups, but like if Custom made it, was it, would he be allowed to play? Because he's casting as well. So how does that work? No, no, probably not. Probably not. He had to leave the team, right? Is that how it works? Or, yeah. or what I told them is that I'll play, but if we somehow miraculously made it to top eight, I obviously can't play. So I don't know for Custa. Yeah, he's casting the groups. Maybe I don't know what would happen. Yeah, Jake, you could probably just get us up for him. I don't know. Well, maybe you can qualify to the Esports World Cup, Jake, and yeah, uh, get your get, share. I'll of, get top three uh, in It's dollars. really likely. I don't think we can get top. I think like top eight is like the ceiling of what I believe is possible for you a no script. Three. Top five. I think top five is so because no, but if we you don't scrim. Like, like we're not going to beat teams that scrim two blocks a day, even if they're not that good players. We just we don't scrim. We show up to play the match. Top, top five it. is like students of the game PIP, right? Exactly. So you be exactly. That level. You so be I feel like I feel like PIP is like maybe there's like some world in which we the good good meta we can win, uh, but. Any anyone who scrims, honestly, they're gonna probably be. You need you need M eighty to fall off, and they were really close to losing. <laughs> Bro, they were Hathi really close to Pelican losing it. Unless Pelican show carry up match their day ass on that Donkey Kong, win, they man. lose. Uh, so you need M eighty to fall off, and then you need to take out either Timeless or Luminosity for that top three spot, hypothetically. Because yeah, if, that's gonna uh, hypothetically, if you're even having a chance at top three, you're better than the other teams. But well, also, I guess we don't need to make it because then or we don't need to be top three because like. Toronto can win. True. Like other teams True. can pre qualify, right? Yeah. And so we can, we can be like top, but even top five, six, I'm pretty sure those are not realistic. Like if you're, no, if you're I serious, mean, you, you look at the, the game, rosters, Pip. I think <laughs> there's no top, way. Like eighth, ninth would be a, a massive performance from us to be eighth, ninth in Master League. I would be like, let's, we we did amazing, guys. Because, uh, like, to be honest, we're a no scrum team. When we play Toronto, we're going to be trolling. Like, we're not even going to try because, like, why would we? That's or, like, we'll try, but, but we'll that. have fun. Like, we're not going to be like super intense about it you know in a game you have no chance to win yeah all right jaws i promise we'll get there we'll get there we'll get to masters at some point eventually bro yeah we'll we'll put a team together don't worry we got this all right we quickly need to do brand spread of the week before uh before jake has to go where who do you got for brand spread of the week me because i'm in face of master league (laughs) (laughs) self-nominate that's egregious who who made this nobody made that rule it's uh, i give it to it's violet's birthday today Violet. Who do you say? Violet then. Oh, Violet. I, Violet for I have a nomination. Who do you say, Avril? I nominate a fictional character. I nominate the Mythic Mercy skin. Ooh, for, for supporting <laughs> for Overwatch development Overwatch alive. for months to come. Yeah, for I'm keeping Overwatch alive Mercy. for years to come, guys. Angela Ziegler. Angela quote Mercy unquote Ziegler. No, no, specifically the skin. The, the I don't, I don't skin. care about the character. I'm specifically talking about the skin. The yeah. Jaws might Just the, the Mythic skin. Wait, wait. Who's the dev that made it? Well, somebody it's a huge team. Like there's project. not one guy it's, it's probably a bunch of people for this season which has been pretty damn successful but it's i want to give credit specifically to the whoever whoever had a hand in them not every dev has a hand in the skin i'm sure so all the, the like team, team responsible for the mercy, mercy mythic, mythic skin, skin. Right. if you ever had a hand in the mercy mythic skin you're brand slayer for like 50 people but yeah we can give it to them look at violet but also the happy birthday violet I go Winton. Winton. Winton is a pretty. That's a not strong nomination for Winton as Brent's player. That's a week. top three nomination for sure. Very definitely strong. Definitely a definitely a first runner up here for Winton. Winton with a Winton. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I need to equip this right away. Let's give it to the, the all the developers who made the Mythic Mercy skin. There we go. The entire you team. Brent's player of the week. There you go, <laughs> Ben. All right, this is Ben. Cloud chat Overwatch episode. 222. Go to manscaped.com. Use code Overwatch for 20%. No, Plat Chat. Use code Plat Chat for 20% off plus free shipping. All right. Goodbye, everybody. It's been a good episode. We'll see you next week and we'll talk about main event and Asia as well. And venture, maybe. Who knows? We'll talk a little about everything. Goodbye. Bye bye.